Good evening and welcome to the Sunday service. Thank you so much, guys, for coming in. Uh, my co-host is ready. I'm just bringing him up in a bit. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Let me just run through a few people I've seen on the chat. I've seen my mod, Keisha. I saw Alisewa on the other side of Dida Safari's live stream. Kavi Kaizia, welcome, welcome, welcome. Equinoa, thank you so much for coming in. Nice uh, braiding with your daughter earlier on. Natecho, thank you so much. Natecho says, it is the beginning for me. Yes, 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 yes. You're most welcome. We have to give you a countdown so that you guys can arrive on the live stream. I see Rehab uh, from Rwanda. Welcome. Nice to see you. Thank you so much, guys, for coming to the Sunday service. Oh, my goodness. So, meet G. So, meet long time how have you been submit submit is my channel remember i haven't seen him for a minute he's been missing for the last three weeks uh, but he's a millionaire so you know millionaire doing millionaire things uh you know i can't i can't blame him uh i see um wait sorry i see kavi guy in the building welcome kavi jeriki man is in the house tight travel is in the house and kavi kai says i couldn't miss my brother's appearance hey show off show off show off i also see um yeah, I see Wandera. I see DXN TVs in the house. Welcome, DXN. Keisha, thank you so much for popping in. JD the uh, JD the sixth, Wendy Rusinga, and of course Mish, so royal Mish. Thank you so much for coming in. Michelle Mo is also in the house, and Margaret Odira, Beta Show. You guys have come to the Sunday service on time today. I'm impressed. I'm impressed. I'm actually impressed. I'm actually impressed. You guys are on time. You're on time. You're on time. Without further ado, let me bring the co-host up. We can be co-hosting this with him. Uh, he's also ready. He's looking ready. How are you doing, Dida? Doing great, brother. How are you today? I am good. I am good. Hey, you're looking so form. Is that like your, the background? The back, I've never even seen this background in his own live stream. <laughs> welcome, yeah, you, you welcome, welcome, welcome. You missed uh, miss yesterday live stream. This background was there. 
<laughs> oh nice i missed i missed it yesterday yesterday i was out of youtube i think uh, i wasn't on youtube until this uh this morning um i see cygnus food chapter thank you so much if you're joining me from um if you're joining me from uh from my channel uh, my co-host is called Dida Safari. You can jump on the other side. The live stream is multi-streaming. I, I can read the chats from Dida Safari's side as well. I want you to jump on the other side and go give him support. Um, you know, he's he's now on the road to watch hours and whatnot. So I want him to get, I want I, I want us to like uh we have one mission today. Uh, I want him to get those watch hours. So the best you can do, you can watch the live stream from there. Um you can watch the live stream from there. And then we also have a very simple mission. Dida, I just noticed Dida only needs like 39 supporters to get to 1K. Can we make this happen in this live stream? Can you make this happen in this live stream? Let's make it happen in this live stream. All right. And people are already complimenting your background. Uh, let's get music going. Let's get music going. So I've pinned Dida on the top of my chat. Um, I've pinned it on the top of my chat so you can connect to that link so that we can get him to uh to 1k asmr uh welcome sweet p mama sweet p saying google i'm loving your attire from what i can see hey thank you thank you for noticing this people never even notice my attire until somebody notices my attire so thank you so much for saying it but i have to be here because you have a guest i will come with the receipts later fast and furious welcome 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 let's get music going just to like uh welcome the guest did I, you can say hi to the people feel very welcome because you're my co-host you can greet your people as well on your chat i will do this now as i get my music going just do a few like uh what do you call these things don't you know i'm just trying to like do some logistics in the background and then we can start let's get music going it's too quiet it's too boring here let's just get music going a bit um it's sunday yeah it's more like it it's more like it it was too boring it was too quiet um yeah so yeah only if, only yeah make it happen if you're not connected to Dida safari you, you have no you have no choice but to get him to 1k he has to get to 1k in the next one hour uh and you don't keep the president waiting okay we are only here for two hours at most two and a half hours so the the faster you get it done the better <laughs> <laughs> Otherwise, I will keep you here and you're not going to go anywhere. Anyway, because I have some hot receipts and I know you love receipts. So the longer you wait, the longer you keep me here for receipts, the longer we are going to like, you know, the longer we are going to stay. Um, yeah, so I see everyone there. And if you are on Dida's side, let's also make it happen. Dida, uh, I want to see, do you have any of, I see Bev, Bev is a moderator there, Bev Artist Kitchen, I see on Dida's side. I want someone to at least handle the charts on Dida's side as well. Helen Akoya, thank you so much for coming in. Yes, there's Natecho. Natecho, uh, Natecho, I want you to do a similar post like mine. Are you seeing the pin? What I've done on my chart? I want you to do a similar pinned link and then I want you to post it on Dida's side and then um, Dida will pin it because I think Dida has access to the moderator in it. Uh, Dida will pin the, uh, the chat uh, there on top so that we, get, we can get Dida to 1k. This is very easy, very easy. Only 30 something people. If you're not connected to the co host, let it, let, let's make it happen. How was your week, guys? How was your week? Thank you so much for joining the Sunday service. It's your host, Goga, and my co host, Dida Safari, is also a Kenyan uh, brother of mine. Uh, he's logging in all the way from Kuwait. He's going to tell us where Kuwait is, what about Kuwait. What, some of you have never even heard of that country. Uh, luckily enough, we are on the same time zone with Kuwait, so I don't feel so bad that you know it's not late, it's not early. Probably just had dinner like me, so I'm so happy that you know the time is working. If you don't have, uh, if you don't have him yet, you can jump on the other side. Teresa Myers, nice to see you. 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 Uh, uh, I see Teresa Myers. I see Silas Food Channel. I see Blessed Life Journey saying, "Leave no one behind." Yes, we are leaving no one behind. Jerry Kimani is already. Yes, guys, jump on the other side. Victorine TV. Thank you. I'm glad. I want to actually see you guys on Dida's. I want to see. I see 20 of you on my chat. I want to see the 20 of you on Dida Safari's channel. The live stream is also taking place there. You can watch the live stream from there. It is the same thing. It is the same thing. It is the same thing. There's no difference. It is the same thing. Kirat GKP, welcome. Welcome, welcome, Kirat. Marva is in the building. Welcome, Marva. Thank you so much for popping in. I see um, Passport Mastery TV from Dida's side. Nice name. I love that name. I love that name. Unlock the village. That's a ninja channel right there. Please give Dida that ninja. Give Dida that ninja. Equi saying hi to uh, Helen. Helen, my moderator is here. Welcome, Helen. Nice to see you. Home Care Queen, who was our guest last Sunday, is also on the chat. Home Care Queen, thank you so much for logging in. I see JD the sixth. 
they, they said Eku is getting getting older is real you will teach me again i don't know whether helen acquire can remember that is a conversation michelle mo michelle mo is in the house michelle mo is a person i met through leader safari michelle mo i think needed only 10 sub uh, and 10 supporters to get to 200 if you don't have michelle mo and you are struggling when it comes to making thumbnails you will thank me later grab michelle mo thank me later grab michelle mo thank me later she did a very beautiful video on how to do banners on uh, on your youtube channel and i think i loved it i endorsed it i endorsed that video grab michelle mo in the process you get her to 200 uh while, while in that process alisewa nice to see you uh the week was nice with lots of sunday blessings glad to hear uh glad to hear thank you so much guys for supporting the course uh he's going to be going to hear his voice short. i know you are like Goga. you have a guest we don't want to hear your voice darling booster manche welcome darling that's my channel member as well darling is logging in all the way from chicago but she's originally from mexico so nice to see you darling booster manche imelda salo is in the house another channel member by imelda long time long time imelda what's going on what's going on Massey empire as well a dragon channel member is in the house welcome Massey empire uh Massey empire is like uh that's a big youtuber guys if you want to keep tomorrow that's like the PA. Um, and then <laughs> I'm telling you, I'm giving you my connections. I'm giving you my connections. If you know, you know. If you know, you know. Um, yeah, so thank you so much, guys, for tapping in. I think I've reached everybody. Jikirat GKP, welcome, Kirat. Thank you so much for coming in. Kirat, nice to see you. I like Sinus channel. I think I, I was able to connect to that channel the day before yesterday. Uh, Victorine TV say, Pastor Dida. Dida, you are pastor. Dida, you are pastor. <laughs> I'm already calling you pastors here. Uh, so with the light pastor day, Dida. Yeah, he's a, he's a visiting bishop because he's a Sunday service. So he's a visiting bishop. <laughs> yeah, he's a visiting bishop. Yes, when you sit here on the Sunday service and you are, you're on the other side of the panel, you become a visiting bishop. You become a visiting bishop. Uh, of course, I'm the host bishop, and then the rest of you are visiting bishop. Okay, so welcome, welcome. Victoria, me, uh, I see, I see, did I say Pastor Victoria? <laughs> That's funny. That's funny. Oh my goodness. Yeah, let's go. Let's go. They reach you. Welcome. That's also my channel. Remember, another young, amazing man here from Kenya. Um, you people have been saying that I don't bring boy child on the live stream, and uh, so did I. Did I think you are you are one of the you are one of the you are one of the at least the men who is representing the men of the two after a very long time because the men I don't know. Uh, we 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 need more representation as men on YouTube. I, I what do you think? I think so. I think so. Yeah. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so I was like, I was like, sure, people are like saying, Goga, you're not bringing in enough men on YouTube or on the chat. I'm like, if you ask these men to come for the interview and they don't want to come, what do you do? What do you do? <laughs> um, so, and I'm so honored that you know he accepted this invite. Um, yeah, so we are we have two twin missions here. So, Dida is going to have a conversation with he's basically co hosting the show with me. I'm going to ask him a few questions just to understand, you know, his experience, uh, his channel. Who is he? And you can also ask any questions you want to ask him uh, on the on the chat, so that we can uh, we can make this engaging, make it as engaging as possible. Making it. Uh, Kavi, Kavi, are you watching me from what? This Kavi is here to collect receipts. Kavi has been watching this interview like from the even before it started, like six hours ago. She's been on this. She's been, Goga. Is is Dida still coming on the for the interview? Go. Is Dida still coming for the interview? you know when we meet in the white streets that's what she's been asking me the whole day and until i was wondering what interest do you have in my guest <laughs> <laughs> and then i see tight travel is in the house welcome tight travel nice to see you uh tight travel did a very beautiful live stream uh the two days ago engaging interactive tight travel more of those live streams more of those live streams more of those live streams that's all i will say just as i told you in your live stream mama g welcome mama g comedy mama g is from this is us and what we do i want to just take a moment to give them a special congratulations on getting their half monetization this is us and what we do congratulations on your half monetization well done well done well done for getting those three thousand watch hours and uh it's not easy it's not easy and i'm glad that youtube actually accepted you into the program so you have two weeks i'll give you two weeks to get fully monetized if you want me to be the mc at your party uh get get the four thousand watch hours in two weeks i think it's possible you can do it you can do it it's very possible normally to get the last one thousand watch hours becomes very easy because now you get a renewed motivation to actually work towards those watch hours 
um so i'm i'm so happy for you i'm so happy for you guys and uh you know it's not been easy and guys you know when i look at this is us and what we do and i just want to tell you in case you are struggling on this yt street in case you are really struggling to get that milestone there are brighter days ahead there are brighter days ahead keep putting in the work they never give they never give up they keep showing up even on the live stream even if it's one person two people watching be there be there consistency is the game and that's what keeps you in the game so don't give up don't be discouraged better days are coming ahead better days are coming ahead dida safari thank you so much for helping me out with the chat without further ado i am i think i'm already within my 15 minute mark of welcoming people uh i see uh we have stabilized as that attached people the rest will find us helen will help me welcome the rest natecho you are going to help me welcome guests on dida safari's uh side on the other side so that we can um, you know we can we can make it more inclusive uh michelle mo uh michelle mo i want you to also like uh, uh, michelle mo jd is uh jd has just told me that she's giving you like a few uh, a few of her uh, uh soldiers you know jd is a president as well and she has her own bodyguards so jd has told me that she's handling your body uh she's handling your matter you're going to be at 200 subscribers in the next five minutes uh you know so we need to in case somebody needs to be given that push to the next milestone be the one to make them jump across the milestone okay yeah so make sure that they're the ones to uh, jump across the milestone win some nice to see you how is canada how is canada this uh this sunday thank you so much for popping in did a safari without further ado welcome to uh goga sunday service this is not your first time of course on the sunday service you have always been on the chat making noise with people down there but today you happen to be on the panel how do you feel? How is the feeling? I feel so good. I feel so good. <laughs> Though I wish I was in the chat. <laughs> I know. I know. You love chat. You love receipts. You're like looking at Kavi there and you're like, can't I join yeah. Kavi? What's going on here? <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, Pain. Welcome, Pain. Nice to see you, Pain. Long time. It's been a while. Uh, that is Pain to entertain my amazing friend for, uh, for a very long time vocal anti-social thank you so much for popping in i am glad uh jd says goga don't worry i can handle michelle moore's issue alone i was like yo no that's those are the big wigs of youtube they're just like goga don't worry about michelle moore i'll handle this that's very easy work those are the kind of friends i like keeping you know I, when i need something to be done and they're just like on top of it so michelle moore you better thank anywhere anytime jd for coming through she's like going to finish the job uh, she's going to finish the job. The rest, I'm giving them an assignment. They need to finish. Uh, we need to get Dida Safari to 1K. So he only needs like 30 something right now. So make it happen. Make it happen. Make it happen. Make it happen. Let the man get. Let the man not sleep until he's at 1K. He's not going to leave this live stream at 900 and what is 900 and something. You know, like this. This is not easy to make it on white What? What? Why should he be at 900 and something? He needs to be at 1K by the time he's going to sleep um so yeah so thank you so much guys for helping um i see Flo and ted welcome Flo and ted congratulations on 1000 subscribers you already met that milestone as well i see um i see uh let me see uh who else i see i thought i saw somebody i have not said hi to lavette lavette h from dida safari side thank you so much um hey okay <laughs> people and their ninjas <laughs> Get out of this live stream. Go watch the live stream also at Dida Safari. We are multi-streaming. The live stream is taking place at Dida Safari's channel. I'm there as well. I can see it running. So you can also watch this live stream from there. You're not going to miss out. You can go watch it as you connect to his channel so that you also you can be there. Like be there as well. Just for a bit. You'll have given him some bit of what hours. Because there's a reason I don't know. The, Tribe Goga always has this mindset that if I leave Goga's live stream, I'm going to miss receipts. No, the receipt will still also be on the other side. I will tell you when to come back when uh, when I'm ending Dida's live stream. I will tell you when to come back and probably he'll be at 1,000 subscribers so he'll be able to raid you back. He will be able to raid you back. Let's make him a pilot today. He'll be able to raid the people from uh, by the end of this like uh, by the end of his interview. <laughs> All right, let me get a better music just like uh, Asha in all of us. Latoya, welcome Latoya. Nice to see you, sis. Um, thank you, thank you. Did I, I? I hope I'm seeing them there on the other side. I just have to make sure because these people they love receipts too much. They'll be like, no, we are not going to like. We are not leaving. We are not leaving Goga. That is a trick. So you can live and watch it also from Dida's side. It 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 really it works. It works and you end up giving that bit of support. Um, boy child. 
Ladies, these ladies who have been writing me messages, Goga, why don't you bring enough men on the on the on the on the live stream? And I'm always like wondering what what why 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 ask why are you asking for men to be brought on the live stream? And then JD told me some of us, you know, some of us are trying to do that thing. So it's important to be exposed um to this 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 gentleman on YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> Tina Lee, welcome. Nice to see you, Tina Lee. Thank you so much for popping in. I'm going to put Dida on this layout once I get my music and then we can start. Dida, what's your favorite music? What's your favorite song? Like, do you have any preferences when it comes to music? No, 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 no. I don't have any preferences. Any. Any can work. Any. Yeah, any yeah. can work. Okay, cool. I'll play some jazz. It's more quiet and people will listen to you more. Um all right uh you guys can you confirm that you can hear dida clearly before we start just confirm that the audio is fine um confirm that we have uh, perfect audio are we good amelia nice to see you that's good i think it's good i think it's good all right fine the rest of you i'll be greeting you on the chats uh while i while i while i speak okay <laughs> all right dida please uh let me put you on this layout. Don't worry, I'm going to be here. There you go. Let me see. Can I adjust your phone a bit? But it's fine. It's fine. I think we're good. You guys can see him. Dida Safari, what is your preferred title? Do you want this name or are you seeing the mind says curator in chief? Do you what what do you prefer using here? You're the in charge. You're the in charge, brother. You can't put anything. <laughs> I'm giving I'm, I'm giving you a chance. To, I'm giving you a chance to call yourself anything. You can even call yourself president of the Dida Home. Um, mm -hmm. you know, the the father of dragons. <laughs> I think I, I think the guys on my chat can suggest. <laughs> guys, what do you prefer? What do you prefer we give Dida as a title? Like you see mine here, curator in chief. What do you prefer we give him? Uh Bishop. <laughs> Bishop I love it. <laughs> I love it. 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 It's perfect. It's perfect. It's perfect. It's perfect. Okay. Bishop and co-host. <laughs> Always trust the community to Jerry, come through Jerry, when you ask them for these things. Yo. Jerry says king of, of the jungle. <laughs> king of the jungle. No, I like the, the bishop. The bishop. I did a laugh at the bishop. I think we, we, we go with bishop and co-host. That's perfect. Bishop and co-host. No, but I need to change it so that we can promote his channel as well. Bishop, co-host, and channel owner. Those titles are very important, guys. Because some of you yeah. here will start calling him other things. And uh, we just have to give him his proper decorations. Bishop, bishop, co-host. <laughs> what is this bishop game? <laughs> bishop, co-host, and channel owner. Uh, oh my goodness, you guys are a mess. Hey, and guys, I have some hot receipts. Hey, watch out. Let's, let's finish the interview with Dida first because those receipts can't wait. Those receipts, I have some very hot steaming receipts. The things have been thrown on this YouTube street today. Yo! And channel owner at Dida Safari. All right. Uh -huh. Dida, how is Kuwait today? What's the weather like? Uh, what's going on there today? Mm, the weather is a bit hot because it's the beginning of summer. Oh, nice! Yeah, yeah. You do have you do have those seasons. I I didn't know like we have seasons like uh, in Kuwait. You have the winter thingies and stuff. Yeah, we have uh, two seasons here: yeah, winter and summer. So now it's the beginning of summer. Oh, so wow! The okay. Yeah, the temperatures today uh, like 29, 30 degrees, and you can imagine Oof. that's the that's the beginning of summer. <laughs> wow Oof, that's yeah, hot that's so, hot Trump. Kuwait is a hot country it's normally very hot extremely hot it's one of the hottest countries uh, in the world and what about like winter like winter was winter like uh, in December like uh, the, the, the west uh, you know America and the rest when is when is the winter period uh, winter normally starts at uh, end of November end yeah. of November up to early February Ah, all right. Awesome. Yeah. Good to know. All right. So uh everyone is excited. Ladies, ladies, why are you like why are you bothering Dida? Can you let can you leave Dida? Even Mama Imelda is there, like, oh, why is Dida Dida is speaking so quietly? I'm like, no, me, I can hear him very what do, what do you want to eat? 
you want Dida to start screaming here like me, like some of these ladies, these ladies. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. yeah, so um, they want to, uh, nice to see. They want, they want, <laughs> they want me to scream. They want you to scream. That uh, Mama Imelda is like, oh, he's shy. Are you shy? <laughs> no, I'm not shy. It's not. I don't think he's shy, guys. I think he's just trying to settle in and everything. And then, you know, he's very African as they come. Like, you know, he's, 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 he's like a visitor or something. We, we do, we, can you tell them how we are Africans? We, 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 when we are guests somewhere, we are normally very, you know, we are, we've been very raised cool. well, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah we are raised well. Right. You, <laughs> you stay cool, well. you, you stay cool, you read the temperatures, and then you can react. <laughs> <laughs> okay. That's a good yeah. one. Um, mm-hmm. Tina Lee is asking me a question. Let me just see whether I can answer this real quick. Um, Goga, do you get a uh, notification? Do you get a notification for every new connection to show up on YouTube notifications? Uh, yes, but uh, notifications have been a mess in the last week for some reason. I don't find uh, enough notifications. But yes, I do have, because anytime I subscribe to a channel, I normally turn my notifications button on. So, But this week, it's been on and off. and I, I'm, We are not getting like a number of notifications. Um, I don't know why. I think it's YouTube and its own its own issue. Uh, Sinel Food is saying that Dida is always smiling. Yo! Yo, okay, okay. How did you know this? <laughs> <laughs> Those are my community members. Uh, and then Aliso is like, Aliso is like, Goga, what have you given Dida? Nimpole sana than he's used to. These people know your energy. These people know your energy. They're like, what have you given? I've not given him. He just came here. He just came here. Uh, he just came here. Um, Kim Nadi, welcome. Uh, JD was looking for you earlier, but uh, we got your greetings. Uh, Kim Nadi, welcome. Kim Nadi is the sister to Obi Nadi. And I remember we got we got Kim Nadi and Obi Nadi to 1K on the same day. We were so happy and proud of ourselves because that is family. Those are those are like uh, people are related. Kim Nadi, Obi Nadi, and Kechi Odukwe. That's like a whole family. So if you have those three powerful women, you are doing very well uh, on YouTube streets. I just thought I should give Kim Nadia a shout out there real quick. Uh, the rest of you, uh, Natecho, I think, thank you so much, Natecho and Helen, for helping me welcome people out. I'll also try as much as I can to be welcoming people uh, here on the chat as much as possible, uh, just before we, just as we start. So Dida Safari, um, once again, thank you so much for joining in. Um, Kuwait, you say you, Kuwait, is, uh, Kuwait, is a very, Kuwait is a very hot country. Um, where is yeah. that? Where is, where, where is Kuwait located? Because you have people here watching us from South Australia, there are people watching us here from the United States. Where is Kuwait? You know, for somebody who may be asking. So, Kuwait is a country in West Asia, which is in the yeah. Middle East, and it's situated uh, between Saudi Arabia and uh, Iraq. So, it borders Saudi oh, Arabia wow. on, the, on the south and Iraq on mm-hmm. the north. Yeah. Oh, nice. Uh, what's what's like the population like? Um, you know, um, I'm just trying to figure it out. Is it a big country? Is it? Uh... Uh, it's a very small country. The population mm-hmm. is around six million people. Oh and, wow! Uh, yeah, only six million people, and the residents here, or rather the mm-hmm. the Kuwaitis, are only one about one point five, less than two Wait. two m. Yeah. Wait. Say that again. You say the country has 6 million people, but the, the Kuwaiti people themselves are like 1.5 million. So the... the, yeah, the... Le, le, less, less than two, 2 million people. The rest are, are foreigners. 90% of a country is foreign. Not, yeah. you, are, you, you guys... Oh, oh, amazing, <laughs> amazing, amazing, amazing. Interesting. Yeah. I know that. So it's, a, it's, a, it's a very small country. Like uh, if you decide to drive from the border of Saudi Arabia to Iraq, it can take you like... Uh, Five hours, five hours. Whoa! Or four. Yeah. Whoa! That's a small country. That's a very small country. Very small country. I am, yeah. I, I am curious because uh, I mean I'm just trying to imagine like uh, you know one only two less than two million residents. I think that's a very that's a very interesting fun fact. Um, to the people who don't know you, who is Dida Safari? I mean, just to like get the introduction going on. I was just trying to make you re- get you relaxed with that broad question about Kuwait. Uh, who is Dida Safari? Who is this man on the screen? The the smiling man is always smiling. Who is the bishop? Who is the visiting bishop and co-host? So my names, uh, official names are Habat Dida Safari, and I'm Dida Safari on YouTube. I'm a nice. Kenyan, born and raised. 
and currently living and working here in Kuwait. So that's me. Oh, wow. Yeah. Nice. So Dida Safari is actually a real name. I don't know I thought like you you picked that name because Safari you 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 want to tell these people what Safari means in Swahili. Yeah, Safari means uh, journey. Like traveling yeah. journey. Yeah, and I've <laughs> exactly. seen so many people. <laughs> yeah, I've seen so many people like uh they they're, they're saying Dida Safaris. So they think maybe my name, my YouTube name <laughs> maybe means like traveling, you know. Yeah, yeah but my Absolutely. real name is Habat Dida and Safari is my son name. Yeah. Kavika is already asking you a first question. Is there a war going on there because I think Kavi just had Iraq and you know I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> um what they, 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 there's no war here. Kuwait is mm. a very safe country. It's very safe. Yeah. So it's uh, mm. very close to those countries like Afghanistan, Iraq, but it's very safe. Oh, nice, nice, nice. Yeah. Um. So you you said you you said you have been. Uh, Kim Nadi, who is watching us, is saying I've been to Kuwait several times. Interesting, mm. interesting, interesting. I love it. I love it. Uh, so at least there's a bit of experience coming in here. I am being told. Uh, I'm being told by my moderators on both sides that you only need. Uh, we are at. We only need 33 more to go. So guys, thank you so much for like helping Dida Safari get to 1K. Keep doing the work. I've pinned Dida on the top of this chat you can see him on the top of my chat um you know he's pinned up there and then you can also watch the live stream from his channel in fact you can jump from this live stream go to his live stream watch watch the live stream there so you can subscribe there while staying on the live stream so that you can it, it can stick when you stay there for at least 10 minutes it will have stuck you can watch that live stream from there before you jump back this side um all right so thank you so much welcome to Mika davis helen thank you so much for helping me out there with the chat with the chats um what uh i'm very curious which part of kenya are you from because most people will uh, be asking you said you are kenyan but one of the things that i like demystifying to my community is just to tell them that you know kenya is a very big country and we all come from different parts um which part of uh, which part of the uh kenya are you from um i come from the coast of kenya from oh nice a, a, yeah from a remote village in ganza constituency which is nice. one of the poorest constituencies in Kenya at a Ooh. place called yeah at a place called Kaimben so I'm a village boy is a village boy in Kuwait uh, you know yeah. it is what it is a uh, village boy in Kuwait and uh yeah guys people from coast uh people from coast we kind of stereotype we have we kind of have stereotypes here in Kenya so Dida Safari is definitely a very uh people from coast tend to be very laid back <laughs> <laughs> they they are not yeah they, we take people from coast are very laid back and chill like if uh, the coastal people in Kenya they you know they we, we always crack a joke and Dida will correct me here they're never really in a rush you know it, it, they take it easy they take it easy Dida am I am I <laughs> <laughs> that's the truth that's the truth that's why we have this saying like uh we say Mombasa hakuna haraka Pole pole ndio yes. mwendo like like uh, everything is slow yeah. <laughs> and for those Absolutely. who have been in Mombasa or any town in the coast yeah. you you will realize that it's very different from Nairobi and the other towns in Kenya because everything is slow absolutely absolutely yeah uh thank you so much thank you so much to everybody who's connecting to dida and i want to give a special welcome to anjali vlogs that is the one person on the chat who has over 100,000 subscribers has silver button on you on, on the chat so it's nice to see anjali vlogs in my house i'm so honored thank you so much anjali i really appreciate uh, appreciate lucy warren welcome back to the streets um what 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 made you like leave kenya for kuwait because i'm just trying to imagine Kuwait is like what? How many hours is it? Like what? How many uh, flight hours is it from Kenya? It's around uh, six hours because uh, there was no connecting. Uh, there was no direct flight. So in most yeah. cases, you have to come through either uh, Ethiopia or Dubai. So from Kenya to Ethiopia is two hours, and then from Ethiopia to Kuwait is four hours. So that's uh, oh, six wow. hours yeah yeah so six hours give or take um what what uh you know when when did you leave for kuwait and you know what what inspired that uh move you know to leave kenya you left the comfort of home this village boy is now making it big abroad you know like that's what your village people are probably saying right now it's like our yeah. son because in africa in africa we we in africa we've been we've been raised in a community setting where people own us 
in a in a sense. Mm-hmm. So exactly. what inspired this move? Yeah, what inspired this move to Kuwait? And you know, uh, you know, what inspired what what really what made you leave home? What made you leave the village? <laughs> So I came to Kuwait in um, at the mid of the pandemic. That is uh, oh. February February 2020. That's when I came yeah. here. So I've been here for four years. And uh, the reason as to why I left Kenya to come to Kuwait is because of mm. the hardships that we had in Kenya. Like uh, you know, we have a lot of challenges, like to get a job. You know, you can go yeah. to school, graduate, but now to get a job is a challenge. So um, I, had, uh, I graduated in 20, 2017, 2017 mm. and uh, I stayed for all that time from 2017 to 2020 without a, a permanent job, you know. So mm. that led for, uh, led for me now to start uh, looking for an opportunity abroad. But um, my, my passion was to join the military when I was back in Kenya. You know, oh, so wow. I went, yeah, I went to those trainings, all those, uh, I mean, all those uh, recruitments, but mm. you know what happens in Kenya, you need to know someone know. who knows someone who knows someone, or if you, you have money, yeah. you know, to bribe to get those, those opportunities. So up to yeah. a point where, uh, whereby now I had to give up, you know, looking for those, uh, for those uh, opportunities to join the military. So I went to college. Yeah. I went to college in Nairobi. I did a diploma in law. And thereafter, mm-hmm. I worked a bit in Mombasa. But, you know, it's the casual jobs whereby they, le- they, they pay less money, very little amount of money, whereby you cannot, you cannot do a lot of stuff with that money. That's why now yes. I had to look for an opportunity to travel abroad mm-hmm. so that I can better my life. Makes sense. Makes sense. And, uh, you know, uh, and, and thank you so much, Jason and Gina. Nice to see you. And um, so was it was it what you hoped it would be? Because, you know, living living home sometimes comes with a certain um, a, a certain sense of familiarity, like you're living familiarity. And, you know, you you, you are raised in a village. Um, and, you know, I'm just trying to imagine because if you are if you are raised in the coast, even coming to a city like uh, Nairobi, it's already always like uh you know it's always like a very huge shift because nairobi is a big city and it's the capital of kenya so i'm just trying yeah. to imagine you leave the village and now you go to a foreign country altogether you know what was that experience like you know like just the you land there and you know how do you fit in and you know a boy raised in the village now is in this uh country that is not even in the continent you're actually outside the african continent yeah yeah um it wasn't a big deal for me because now you know when you yeah. you, you you have gone through a lot in life like uh, the hardships in family yeah. you know I, I i i was raised from a typical african family of nine yeah. and i'm the second Ooh. oldest yeah wow okay <laughs> yeah <laughs> i'm the second oldest so you see it reaches a point whereby you see the the the, the hard life back home so even you don't mm-hmm. concentrate on like oh i'm in a different continent or i'm in a new country you just want to get mm-hmm. that job and work and help your family i can imagine i can imagine yeah and uh, um, uh, uh, why 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 kuwait as opposed let's say to you know you hear about saudi arabia you do hear about uh you know qatar uh you do hear i mean it could even be Europe. Why? Why Kuwait specifically? Uh, why not? Uh, why not? Okay, um, let's say Uganda. Yeah. I, I didn't choose to come to Kuwait. I didn't choose to come yeah. to, Kuwait, to Kuwait because uh, when I when I, I started now looking for this opportunity, um, yeah. because after graduating, I, I worked in Mombasa in a security company. Uh, I was yes. working two. I was working two jobs. One, I was a mm. clerk in a law firm. Uh, because I did oh, a nice. diploma, a diploma in law, mm-hmm. and mm-hmm. also okay. I, my second job was in a security firm. So in that security firm, I was a supervisor, and I used to be sent to these uh, security meetings. You remember those times mm-hmm. when we had uh, the regional, uh, regional coordinator Marwa? Yeah, those are the yeah. times I used to go to these meetings. So I remember every time you keep telling people that your community is your connection. So when I was in yeah. those meetings, it's when I got the connection of um, of a uh, of an agency that was recruiting yeah. people to, uh, to Kuwait. And remember, I told you that uh, 
I had this passion to join the military and I was working in a security mm. farm and the job mm. was related to what, what I was doing. So I had to mm. take the opportunity, I had to take the chance. I like that. I like that. And, yeah. you know, taking, taking, taking the opportunity when, you know, when it's there as opposed to, um, and I can imagine because even having been a clerk at a law firm, you know, that, that sometimes comes with its, with its own challenges. I've worked with lawyers long enough to know uh, the yeah. challenges of that kind, kind of space. Um, uh, so you so you get to Kuwait and uh you know what uh what what was uh what was the opportunity like i'm just trying to figure out so what what really took you there and then you said you went to kuwait at the heart of covid so i'm assuming this was like yes. in 2020 right yeah so, that's 2020 february. i mean 2020 the world 2020 february the world okay we are we are not like in the lockdown yet but we are just about to because i remember i was to I was to fly to Thailand on uh, in March 2020, and then I remember I had to cancel that flight because of the things that happened. Um, so, so I'm trying to imagine you, you went around February just just before things started getting very serious. But then now you get into Kuwait, and then boom, the world yeah. is under lockdown, and you're <laughs> going to look for an opportunity. Did you still have the job? And how did it look like? You know, like. COVID is happening, you've got, you've just landed in Kuwait ready for a job. I mean, how does that look like? Ah, so the job is, uh, is in the security, security field and, yeah. uh, coming from the village, you know, we used to hear that there's a, there's a, an outbreak of Corona and nobody yeah. took it serious, you know, nobody took it serious. So we traveled from, uh, from Mombasa. You know, I yeah. came from Kilifi to Mombasa, and then we took the night bus to Nairobi. That was on 26th, and on the 27th, yeah. we traveled mm -hmm. to Kuwait. So I landed here in Kuwait in uh, on 28th of February. That was the last day of the month. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So mm -hmm. coming here within like uh, in a span of seven days, um, yeah. you know, they closed the airport. Like there are no flights coming, no flights going <laughs> out. Whoa. Yeah. yeah, so imagine when we go to Nairobi, JKA, you know, yeah. that's when now we realize, oh, this thing is serious because now we were, we were a group of 10, we were a group of 10, yeah. and nobody we, uh, amongst ourselves had the mask. But when we go to Nairobi, we saw this group of, uh, of the Chinese, uh, of Chinese guys with masks, mm. and we're like, what is going on? And some, someone told us that there's an outbreak of Corona. Okay. So mm -hmm. one of one of our guys in our group uh, borrowed mm -hmm. a mask, you know. So we traveled. Nobody had a mask except that one mm -hmm. person who who had that mask. But when we landed, uh, we, yeah. we landed here in Kuwait on the 28th in the morning at 2:15 a.m. Mm -hmm. We were shocked, like to see almost the whole airport. Everybody has a mask on. Then we knew this thing is, <laughs> yeah, we knew we knew this thing is serious, you know. So everybody is shocked, yeah. like, why are these guys coming in without masks, you know? So at the immigration um, desk, we were given masks, and we came to the accommodation, uh, the company that was bringing us here. And uh, mm. I remember our co-workers, they used to look at us like, you see someone is coming on your way, mm. he doesn't have a mask, but once they see you, they put a mask on. Because this thing here had started for like a month, but for us coming mm. from Kenya and especially in the village, we didn't know that thing. This thing was serious. So we came here. We, it took like seven days, and then uh, the airports were closed. There were no flights going out, coming in. It was only the cargo flights that were coming in. And um, after one month, that is uh, uh, because when we came here, we were supposed to stay for forty-five days before we join. Uh, we joined yeah. duty because. <laughs> The, the, the system here in Kuwait is a bit different from other countries because when you come here, you come with a mm. visit visa and then they process uh, your work visa while you are here because the work visa takes like uh, three months to be, pro yeah. to, to be processed. So Oof. we was, yeah, so we were supposed to stay for 45 days before we joined duty. So we stayed in the room for 45 days, though the company was paying, yeah, though the company was paying us our basic pay. Yeah. Yeah. And then on 15th of April 2020 is the day when you we were joining duty. In the evening, 
lockdown was declared. So we had to come Yo. and stay again in the room. We stayed for nine months from April to 19th of December 2020. Nine. Oh my goodness. Yes. Yo. Hold that thought. Let me let me acknowledge we got a new membership from Anjali Vlogs. Anjali Vlogs, thank you so much for the membership. I will give you your a, a recognition. Anjali, guys, I, I gave you a special shout out to Anjali because I told you that is a channel that you need to aspire to get to because that is the only channel that looks like Nightbot on the chat right now. So you can ask Anjali, how do I get to look like you? And then she will tell you the secret. So Anjali, this is... <laughs> Did a safari nine months you've left your home like what that is like asking you what was the point of living in kenya if you're going to like stay in a room for 10 months didn't you like feel you wanted to lose you did you didn't you feel like you want to lose your mind you can't come back home because uh most countries have locked their borders um yes. you know i'm just trying to imagine what was that experience being uh you know being locked in a room like for for i don't know that's like that's a lot <laughs> it it was it it was not easy it was not easy yeah. at the beginning it looked fun because now you come from kenya whereby you are working but the salary was very small now yeah. you are here you are on lockdown or rather you are waiting to join uh duty for the for five days and you have internet you have food you have a a, a good place to sleep you know yeah. and you are getting money you know which is more than what you used to earn in kenya so it was fun because you're communicating with family yeah you are communicating with family you have food to eat you have a good place to sleep but then yeah. when we went to work now on that day of 15th of april and then on the mm. evening now uh lockdown was declared okay at the beginning like the first month it also used to be fun because you are not going to work but you're still being paid but now you can yes. imagine <laughs> you can imagine now it reaches a point that now you are bored because it's so bad you eat yeah <laughs> you know you 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 talk to family at some point you you get tired because at the beginning mm -hmm. we used to yeah. be like we, we are in the room but we had this time like to go out like uh, in the same building maybe you are in the first floor or second floor you can go to yeah. gr uh, ground floor but it re it reached a point whereby you could not even come out of your room even your food was used to be brought at your doorstep. So now things, yeah, things now change. From now enjoying that time, now depression now started. You know. I know. I can imagine. Yeah, yeah it and, wasn't um, easy. Family. Let's talk about family back at home. What uh, mm -hmm. you know, the what is going on back at home? Did you leave family here at home? You know, what what is that like? Been been uh been there, yes, as much as you are talking to them on phone yes. and something like that but then now the longer you are staying here locked in a room i can imagine the depression kicking in what about just fear that longing you get in homesick did that happen no uh homesick uh, at the beginning there was no yeah. homesick even after after we 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 resume duty on on the 19th of uh, december because now you are there you know that you are getting salary and this thing maybe it will come to an end you know yeah. but even after resuming work the flights were the flights were not operating so imagine you 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 you, you left home you know that you are going to work but after one year you'll have a vacation and this thing went for two Ooh. years yes so after after one year it's when now it was like oh this homesickness now started because now you don't know when the the the, the airports will be open yeah 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 so it wasn't Oof. that easy i can imagine i can imagine so how did you yeah. pass time like you know you you just you, you just wake up in a room and uh and you know like what was, what was like a day to your dida safari's day-to-day -day like you know during the nine months of isolation in a room and guys uh we need uh we need 20 how many 28 more um so if you have not connected to dida safari click on the pinned link let's get the co-host to 1000 subscribers it's just it only needs like 28 so you guys can make it happen you guys can make it happen because i see like we have uh 40 something people looking at us right now 
Yeah, yeah. did I carry on? So what was so, a typical day, a typical day to day like for you in that isolate uh, like isolation period? There was no um you, you know the, the, uh, the place where you used to stay it was a shared mm-hmm. accommodation because yes. uh Kuwait is one of the richest country in the world having the strongest currency in the world. So you can Ooh. imagine that even the economy itself, you know, like yeah. in terms of uh, accommodation, it's very expensive. So in most cases here, yeah, those people who are working here in Kuwait, uh, mm. there are some who are renting their own apartments, but uh, most companies, we are in, sh- um, you know, shared accommodation. So you can, yeah. uh, you can be in a room with a, with a colleague or maybe it's an apartment with two rooms whereby the other room has two people the other room has two people those are four people so sometimes yeah. you used to wake up in the morning take your breakfast and go back to bed and just talk to family once you're bored you sleep so it was sleeping eating and talking to family <laughs> <laughs> yeah so yeah. sometimes like uh, during the day when you're up there's another mm. person who is sleeping you know so you cannot stay in the room you have to come to the living room or sitting room you know so it was chaos you know uh okay. and, and remember you are you are at a place whereby you are not going to work so you can imagine sometimes you yeah. fight you know because maybe you want to sleep another person is chatting with the family another person wants to dance another one wants to exercise in the <laughs> room so it was chaos <laughs> yeah it was chaos chaos and chaos wow Oof. yeah um so so nine months lapse uh mm-hmm. at least now things start looking up vaccines are being uh, unveiled and everything yeah you get back to work in nine after nine months of being isolated you probably had not even like gotten to tour around kuwait itself because you just arrived and you know life is up maybe the first one month or so when you are still free um you know what so what what does what does like now work look like in a in a in a post lockdown uh in a post lockdown environment because uh, things... you you probably started, you probably now started working the world that totally changed and i always tell you that uh, i always tell people that covid was like um covid was like a reset for the world like it was the, it was like the great reset like yeah. things things totally changed after you know after like the that crazy one year we had of lockdowns and everything work was no longer what it used you know we never used to approach work the same way we used to do so i'm just trying to imagine now you're getting back to work you're in the security space um what does that look like for you in kuwait um after you go after the nine months of being isolated so at the beginning when we resumed work you know yeah. it was the uh there was this uh, issue about the mask you know you have to put mask everywhere you go the supermarkets mm-hmm. or when you are at work and then even after uh, those nine months whereby yeah. uh, locked uh, the, uh, the, like the, the there was no lockdown but there are specific mm-hmm. places here in in kuwait whereby lockdown continued for like another one month you see yeah. one month or two months so it was very difficult for you to move around so it was just from your room you get to 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 the bus and you go to Mm. work and from work to your room so i can say maybe me moving around kuwait i started moving around kuwait after two years yeah after two years because uh i know many people were uh, were 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 making uh i mean jokes about corona especially back home but this thing was serious because mm. I know so many people who lost their lives during that time. You can imagine you wake up in the morning, there's someone that you know, you are told that, oh, that person has been taken uh, by an ambulance to, to the hospital and they yeah. are normal. And uh, some people went through depression, they committed suicide. You know, mm. it wasn't easy. It wasn't easy at all. So there was that fear, even after they had opened up everything, but it, there was mm. that fear like, I might travel to the city or a certain town and maybe I get this disease. So it, it was like you have to take care of yourself so that you wait for that time when the flights, uh, the flights, uh, I mean, the airports will be open so that you can get that chance to go home. 
absolutely uh yes. and thank and thank you so much guys i see you people supporting dida yes we are doing great you are doing great thank you so much for the amazing support uh kisha kisha is kisha is really helping me out with the greetings because the chat is moving so fast even for me and thank you so much kisha for helping me out uh, but i see everyone i'm trying as much as i can to make sure that i can say say hi to everyone you can also watch the live stream on dida safari's channel it is running on the other side you can jump there and watch it also from the other side so that we can get uh we can get the gentleman to his milestone whoa so yo i can imagine like that must have been i don't know that must have been, did you have you ever gotten to have you ever like come back home just just curious question i'm asking out of the blue yeah i came back home after two two years and three months it's when i got the opportunity to come home for the first time and and yeah. there after because things now have come back to normal yeah. when i came back here i stayed like seven months i came home so i i, I came home like uh, three times so i've been here for four years but i've been ah, home for okay. uh like three times all right makes sense makes sense yeah. makes sense um the only thing i would I, I now want to just start asking you is about the you said uh kuwait is one of the richest countries in the world with one of the strongest currencies as well um and that already that already positions it as i mean rich countries tend to have certain comforts that you don't find back at home what were the which ones are the most outstanding for you you know like you just you just land there in kuwait and you know what were some certain things that you started observing in that country and i'd like asking this because sometimes it's important to compare uh you know what people are doing out there and when you're back at home because i remember even the first time i ever left kenya uh this was back in 2013 when i took my first flight out of the country and i remember one of my friends told me um travel the world it, le- it helps you have a balanced opinion in life because if you don't leave your comfort zone you will always think that your country is everything but yeah. you know i was so shocked when i left i when i left my country and somebody actually asked me that where is kenya they didn't even know my country because i used to think my country is the ish it was very humbling it was a very humbling affair so i'm just trying to imagine for you where what are some of the things that you saw immediately you started at least even experiencing kuwait that you're just like wow if we had this at home if we had this at home because sometimes when you travel you start like saying if we had this in kenya if we had this in kenya if we had this in kenya what are those moments for you so the first thing is just the airport when you get yeah. to kuwait the airport is amazing is uh in order as compared <laughs> to <laughs> to back home i know i know jka we are trying but you know these people are in order you know mm. coming in here you find everything is in order the airport is smart and when you get yeah. to uh, out of the airport the roads are so nice you know mm. so that 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 was the first impression of um, of kuwait so having arrived at kuwait at 2 um 2:15 in the morning so by mm. 3 am we had already been picked up by uh, at the airport so wow. the roads was yeah the roads are well light up there are lights everywhere so mm. you can imagine it's an it, it, it at night but it looks like it's during the day because there are lights everywhere i i wow. imagine like even even if nairobi could be like this maybe yeah. it could be way ahead i know the government is trying a lot <laughs> to work but, on that but yeah <laughs> <laughs> yeah so that 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 was the first uh, the first impression of, yeah. of Kuwait and then when we got here in the morning uh we were taken uh, somewhere and we got the sim cards and uh you pay for subscription for yeah. for one month and the internet is very fast so when i came <laughs> here i was like oh 5g i didn't know about 5g you know you know yeah. you, you know back home where you buy uh internet <laughs> bundles and it keeps on buffering and I was like yeah. when when you click something it's just on the go i was like wow you know interesting interesting exactly so you yeah. so, so is the internet you're using right now where we can see you glowing and smiling and we can see everything it's not even there's even no glitch <laughs> there's even yes. no glitch at all <laughs> yes yes the internet here is is very powerful it's very strong it's very good yeah interesting interesting yeah. and uh what about the what about the what about the culture what about the culture of kuwait you know because you're coming from africa 
uh, and a Kenyan country for that matter, and you're coming from the coast, uh, and you know the region you come from in the coast has really uh, has also kept to its values a lot, even as compared to the rest of uh, Kenya. So I'm just trying to imagine what was that shift like in terms of the cultural, uh, you know, that cultural exposition, because I can imagine you land in Kuwait and. Uh, you told me that it only has the the citizens of Kuwait are only two me are like uh, two million give or take, and then the mm-hmm. the four million are literally now the other people. So I'm just trying to imagine that blend of culture. You know, like what was that like for you? That cultural, you know, uh, shock. Uh, to be uh, sincere, mm. there was uh, the the cultural shock I got here. It's not like uh, because of weight or weight is mm. because mm. this country is more of a uh, African country. It's free, and uh, mm. there are so many people from all over the world. We have Americans, Europeans, Canadians. We have uh, Indians, Nepalese. Name them. You know, mm, so mm. but a, a, a bigger number of those uh, of the expatriates here are, are Indians. You know, so ah, okay. the yeah, so the culture shock I got it is in Kuwait, but it's because of the Indian culture because these people are so many here. Mm. You know, yeah. Nice, interesting. Their sure. way, the, the, their way of living. You know, the way they interact to each other. You know. Yeah, it's very different from the African culture. Oh wow! All right. Yes. Um. Let's see. Um. All right. Uh. Let me see. <laughs> okay. Blessed is giving me some receipts. Alisa, nice to see you. Alisa, nice to see you. You guys, can you stop distracting me <laughs> with the receipts? <laughs> we are going to have receipts time. We're going to have receipts time. So the culture. So you get to meet people that you don't ordinarily um you know get to meet in your day to day life. What about at work? You know, because at work, I can imagine. Are you still with the guys you left Kenya with, or they also went to different places? How how is the workplace like? For you know, what was the workplace like when you eventually started working and you have to interact with people? You know, I'm just trying to figure out that. Yeah, uh, my workplace also is the same thing. Uh, yeah. We have uh, so many people from all over the world, but. Mm. Um, I work for an American company, so yeah. it's more of dealing with the Indians and the Americans. Mm. So I'm in Kuwait, but I I deal more with the Americans and Indians. Okay, interesting. Yes. Um, and then uh, let me see. Uh, let me see whether there's anything. Um, okay, people are just uh, more. Even Maura is saying that even in Qatar, the population is if, if Asians is so high. And you are like, who did they leave? Who did they leave at home? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's true, true, true. That's a good one, Maura. That's a good yeah. one, Maura. And then, um, yeah. So it's 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 very interesting, interesting aspects there. Uh, blessed, you get the receipts, and then you let me know. You let me know when I when I finish the interview. Um, so you start you you start working in. What is the workplace like? You know. I'm trying to now get into when you compare now having left, like you can imagine the job you are doing in Kenya and now you are in Kuwait. You know, is the salary like rewarding? Were you getting a lot of zeros? And you, you know, you said the currency was like the currency is up there. So I'm trying to imagine one, one, uh, tell me, one Kuwait is how many Kenyan shillings? Mm. Give run just a uh, rough idea. I think as yeah. of today, uh, one Kuwait dinar, the currency here is called Kuwait dinar, uh-huh. and one Kuwait dinar is equivalent to 420 Kenya shillings because the rate has Whoa. gone down. Yeah, the rate Whoa. now has gone down for like, yeah. like uh, in the past one month, the rate has been going down, but it used to be 520. Jeez, that's like that's like yes. about four dollars. One Kuwait dinar yes. is like about four dollars or something. Oof, that's a yes, lot of yes, money. Yes. Yes. So, so I'm trying to imagine now when you get your salary at the end of the month, you don't need to talk to, to us about your salary, but I'm just trying to imagine now when you compare, you know, the the returns. You left Kenya for uh, better pastures. Um, when you get your salary at the end of the month, are you smiling or are you like converting in your head? Because that's another <laughs> thing. And Kavi, Kavi is already saying, so you are rich. <laughs> Kavi is just like, so you are rich. Hmm. <laughs> yeah. Uh obvious uh coming from kenya if you compare the salaries here not not only kuwait even those in saudi arabia in qatar uh 
uh, the salary here is good because because yeah. even the, the 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 lowest paid uh, person you yeah. you cannot compare them with people who have uh, very uh, nice nice jobs in Kenya yeah so yes. uh having been in Kenya working two jobs the salary that yeah. i was getting back home if i compare yeah. to the salary here it's like maybe four times so Absolutely. i can i can't complain i can't complain <laughs> alisa is like hey that pastor is very green <laughs> <laughs> and so is like that pasture is very green and then travel and food is watching you from the coast these are your people yeah. travel and uh -huh. food is like can you goga can you ask dida for the connection i am from mombasa <laughs> as well they even did travel and food is even affiliating me as is now even using the the area code as a as mm -hmm. a card to, to get an yeah. opportunity <laughs> <laughs> um, I want to interrupt the live stream briefly. DXN, nice once again to see you. I want to interrupt the live stream briefly because I'm being told Dida is just about to get 1K. So we are at 992. So I want him, I don't oh, want him wow. to miss the screenshot. I don't want him to miss the screenshot of 999. So uh, the chat is going wild. Look at Jeriki Man is like, no wonder Dida, you are glowing. This gender, <laughs> this gender, when they start writing to you this kind of messages, run, run. <laughs> <laughs> now Sina is like Dida the Great. Look at this lady. Look at this lady. Do they ever do, do they ever tell you these things on 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 your own live stream? <laughs> no, 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 no. They don't. <laughs> Yo, they don't. This they gender, don't. Will, this gender will show us things. Hey DC, welcome. Nice to see you, DC. DC Designs and Collectibles. Nice to see you. Um, mm -hmm. These ladies are like these ladies are now becoming too much. They, guy, ladies, why didn't you give Dida Safari these compliments earlier? You just had him. I, I just asked him something about the salary and the greener pastures. Now you are all going wild. He's like, "Oh, Dida, you are glowing. Dida, you look nice." <laughs> Dida, I'm like, "Bev, no, you've not been giving Dida compliments until I asked this question. Now you are all like, Dida, um, connection. Dida, did I'm like, yo, this gender, this gender." <laughs> 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 oh my goodness 996 so we I will just share this like real quick so that we can observe it uh, yeah guys let's make this happen and I'm glad that you observed the yeah we just hit one hour so thank you so much for like doing that and then this is like look at his smile wow handsome now this is watching you all the way from the states this has also, been, has also joined this bandwagon <laughs> 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 yo these people these people the things they're showing me yo let's incentive yeah. welcome so guys Dida safari's channel is there let me just refresh i want it to be at 999 then we can take a screenshot 998 yes 98. you are doing an amazing yeah. job thank yeah, you guys, guys thank you amazing. so much 998 thank you thank you thank you so much so wow. let's get it done and I'm, i keep refreshing i keep refreshing i keep refreshing i want to see 999 ah uh, okay you guys are still and make sure you're doing it nicely don't go there and then they drop i don't want them to drop i want this number to stay at 1k congratulations dida safari you're at 1000 subscribers i didn't get to see the 999 oh, unfortunately wow. i didn't but see it <laughs> even me i didn't see it we missed that up. we really wanted that screenshot so guys oh. if you don't have dida safari let's give him extra so that he can get at least uh if YouTube decides to take at least ten, at least the law will have, will have at least some, you know, the remaining so that it's one k. Welcome to the club! Congratulations! 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 Thank you Cherish so is much. Like, You've Thank grown you so, so fast. <laughs> Helen Akwe is also saying congrats. Yes, you can take a moment and congratulate him. He's now not just uh, not just in Kuwait, but he's also on uh, 1,000 subscribers strong. Asmo Day, yeah. thank you so much. I saw your message. Movie Farm, nice to see you. Hilda Wawira. Hilda is like finally Dida. <laughs> Michelle Mo, uh, Michelle Mo is Michelle Mo also at the milestone. Michelle Mo, congratulations! Awesome. JD JD says Michelle Mo, congratulations! You also at two hundred. Michelle Mo, so nice. Those are twin milestones that we've achieved. Deep T, Pranam, Pranam, Deep T, nice to see you. Yes, so give extras, give extras if possible, so that it can be one ten ten. Give extras if possible, so that it can be one uh, ten ten, and then uh, so that if we leave some fall off by tomorrow, we'll we'll have. Uh, We'll have at least a balance of about 1k. That number should not reduce. Uh, so now Dida can work towards his next milestone. Less incentive. Nice to see you. How you doing? Less. Welcome, welcome, less. Um, so I I like I like what you said about uh I like what you said about you know it's comfortable. <laughs> it's 
it's comfortable you can't compare the where is the link oh dc it is pinned are you seeing on top of my chat i've just pinned the link dc but i can drop it for you let me give dc this is going to that is like a very good cpm if this is watching you from the states there you're going to get some very good cpm when you get monetized so dc let me just drop the link for you so that uh, people don't have the link you can click on the link i'm on horizontal so links are clickable you can click on the link and if you want people to connect to you you can type your name type my name rather type my name goga or host and then nightbot will do the necessary right so thank you so much Hey, Rebecca, Le Prince, JD, I am not going to spare your receipts. Thank you so much for getting Michelle Mo to 200, but I'm not sparing your receipt. Whatever JD made us go through today, I'm going to talk about it, but let us finish the conversation. Let us finish the conversation. <laughs> All right. So we are going to do that. So yeah, guys, give, give extras, give extras, give extras. I will leave that link there temporarily so that we have extras. But thank you so much for getting the co-host to 1,000, and I'm glad that it happened in this space. So thank you so much. Um, all right. Um, if, what was that question that somebody asked me to ask you? No, that was uh, travel and food was asking for connections. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> There's a lady who is asking you, Dida, are you single? Is that... <laughs> <laughs> guys, guys, guys. Um, I'm not single. Hey. I'm taken. I'm taken. <laughs> Yo, you just you, you just broke hearts on the live stream what do you mean you are taken what 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 does taken mean like you know taken can be taken can be like uh, there are conversations that are going on taken can be i'm guess things are a bit complicated i'm not willing to commit taken can be i'm married to my job taken can be i love the man i'm becoming what is taken like can you tell us what taken means like be very specific because these ladies are going to start asking you 10 other questions you have to be very clear <laughs> Thank you for asking. Um, I'm married. And then you, you... Oh. oh, okay. I'm married. Uh -huh. I'm a husband. I'm a husband and a father of two. All right. And both um... and both share a birthday. Wait, you have twins? No, 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 no. They're not twins. Yeah. Oh. They're not twins, but they share a birthday. No way! That. Like. No way, like that's amazing. I mean, like your first one is like how old I'm trying to figure out the the difference uh, between it's it's four and a half four and a half. Nice. And the second uh -huh. is six months. Wow. And they yeah. share a birthday. Yo. Yeah. Yo. Ladies, don't go anywhere. I don't want to see my chat numbers reduce it because some of you here, when you hear the man is no longer single, you start like saying, Goga, I'm sorry, I'm going to like cook. Goga, I know I'm going to like take the dog for a walk. You are not taking that dog for a walk. Stay in the interview. Stay in the interview. He may be having a brother who is single. So I, I stay, stay, stay. He may be having a brother. He said, you said you are nine in your family, right? There's, said, there's, a, there, there's a question from Nate. Yeah. <laughs> Let me see where... Uh -huh. <laughs> Natecho, look at look at Natecho is asking a very Natecho is asking a very serious question. Mm -hmm. Dida, how can your second born be six months old? How did you how did uh, how did you get your six month old and you are in the Gulf? Like <laughs> Natecho is trying to figure out when this uh, when this conception happened. That's what I'm telling you. These ladies, women, we fear women. After God, fear women. She's already done the mathematics. Me, I'm thinking she's busy on the chat welcoming people. She's already doing her own mathematics there. And then it's like, this mathematics is not mathematics. I need to, I need to. How, how can this baby be six months? <laughs> um, and that, that probably informs my next question, Dida. Um, mm -hmm. So is your family there with you in Kuwait or uh, is the family back at home? Mm, my family is back at home. Yeah. That's why I said um, I went home, like um, I've been home three times yeah. since I came here. So the first mm -hmm. time I was at home was uh, 2022 April. So I stayed there for two months and then I came back in June. And then uh, after seven months, that was January last year, I went home. So you can do the math. <laughs> so Jan <laughs> <laughs> Natech, Natech, I hope you can hear that. So January last year, I went home, I came back in uh, early, uh, early March. Yeah. So yeah. I came back early March. 
and then still last year um november i went back home to help my wife uh uh during her delivery oh wow yeah. so so i so i came back here end of uh that was october i came back mid of november interesting um, i hope ladies, you are answered <laughs> la- la- ladies the man has answered the man has answered ladies leave it alone let it go now teacher you've already gotten your answer <laughs> she says she says good timing <laughs> You know, you know, I'm just, you know, I've not even thought about that. That's what I'm telling you. You got to like respect, you got to love women because they think very differently. Because I was, the, the only thing I was going to ask him next was, you know, do you stay with your family? Um, do you stay with your family in Kuwait or uh, is it is the family back here in Kenya? But the, la- the ladies, ladies do a different approach. Ladies is like, wait, if this baby is six months, when was this man last home? Oh, let mm. me calculate. How was the wife able to get pregnant and the man is working in Kuwait? Then they're doing yeah. like mathematics there. They do the at the charts. And then she's like, let me just ask this question because my mathematics has to like be accurate. <laughs> <laughs> Yo. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. <laughs> so the family, so the family is here. You your firstborn is definitely a COVID baby. Uh, probably five and a half months. That was like really the heart of the that around that time that was like about four years ago right or probably just before covid 20... before covid before, before covid before 2019 COVID. 2019 okay. when i was before preparing COVID. to travel it's when I I, yeah. I I got my baby so you can see yeah. those are the reason why um i had to travel you yeah. know because i don't have a stable job and the baby and is coming to... yeah and the, yeah and, and we all know that that's a lot of pressure especially when yeah. it comes to when you are, you know, and, and then, you know, there's also the aspect of, you said you guys were, you are like nine in the family. So yes. in case some ladies here, like uh, apparently Kavi is canceling tickets for some reason. Um, in case, <laughs> in, in case like, uh, in case like uh, someone here wants to know, like, you know, you said you are nine in the family, maybe give some people hope here. How many brothers, how many sisters, you know, the ladies probably want to know the brothers. Um <laughs> Rebecca is yeah. already owning you as her cousin. So <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. Rebecca is my cousin. <laughs> yeah, I yeah. have uh, I have only one brother. So the rest are sisters. Ladies. Wow. Yes. Are they all married? Asking for a friend. Are they all married? Because Ajuiz is also here. Um, are they all married or just asking for a friend? It's just a very overall <laughs> question. I'm not I'm not trapping you or anything. Four are married. The others are single. Okay, yes. I'll, I'll talk to you. I'll talk to you behind the tent. Are they looking? <laughs> we can I don't get know. them husband. I don't know. Get them husband. <laughs> it's like, I'm just check, I'm just checking. I'm just asking. 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 Um <laughs> <laughs> ladies, why are my chat numbers dropping? Come back here. Just because Dida answered that question. Now you people are like busy, like making yourself busy. Like, go, I'm going to cook. Go, I don't no. Come back here. Come back here. Come back here. Come back here. <laughs> Lilian Okendo, nice to see you. <laughs> yeah. Hey, people, li- these ladies, these ladies, yo, wait, 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 wait. Fear them, fear them. That mathematics, the way it has been done, mm-hmm. me, I was not even thinking about it. I was not even thinking about it at all. Like, it's just amazing. It's just amazing. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Yo, that was amazing. That was hot. Whew. Um, so we were at the part where we were talking about the when it comes to the salary and uh, you know what what would they say what i mean in case somebody somebody is sitting in an african country right now or maybe yeah. somebody is watching us from asia or maybe somebody anybody um you know anybody is like watching you right now and probably once they are not exactly having the best economical uh, situation in their country where where do they start looking in case I want to come to Kuwait for that for those greener pastures as uh, Alisewa was saying those pastures are greener. Um, if I want to like get those greener pastures there, what are the opportunities that are in Kuwait? How do I go about it? Um, you know, just to in case somebody is out there listening and wants to come to the country. Yeah, um, because Kuwait is a <laughs> is a small country. Yeah. Uh, the opportunities uh, opportunities are here, but uh, they are, are limited, you know, because mm-hmm. it's a small country. And, uh, yeah. you know, even getting an opportunity here, you cannot just come like the way maybe you can go to Qatar or Dubai, because it's very yeah. easy to get even a tourist visa 
but here it's a mm. bit uh, it's a bit uh, different because to get a job here you need to get um an agent you know yeah uh and uh, you know this thing about the uh, the agencies some of them are uh you know they are fake they are there just to take your money i, I know even yeah not, not even uh, not only for africans or kenyans <clears throat> even for Europeans and Americans, because we have uh, so many of them here. There are so many opportunities for Americans also. Uh, for the Americans, they use recruiters. They have recruiters there. So if you, you want to become a contractor, maybe doing these contracting jobs, the Americans understand what I'm talking about. Uh, you get a recruiter back home. And if there's an opportunity in Kuwait, you can take that. and. Uh, uh, talking to the Americans, um, they are also getting good uh, good money as compared to back home. So back in Kenya, if you need an opportunity here in uh, in Kuwait, uh, first of mm. all, you need to be patient because uh, the opportunities here are limited. That is number one. You need to be patient. So even if you get an an agent and you are specific that you want to come to Kuwait, you need to be patient. Because as for mm. me, when I got that opportunity, I had to wait for like seven months before I traveled. Seven months. So I was to travel uh, in um, August. But you know, the visa process is, was a bit, uh, uh, it took a, a very long time. So yeah. from from August to, to February, it's when I, I traveled. So number one, you need to be patient. And then number two, you need to get a genuine agent, okay? A genuine agent or agency that mm. will have these opportunities here. Then number three uh, is the qualification that you have. It depends with the job that you are looking because for, for yeah. foreign nationals, apart from the Americans and Europeans, let's say Africans, like in, uh, Kuwait has a minimum, a minimum wage. So even the yeah. lowest paying job, the lowest paying job like the janitors or cleaners like uh, they pay 100 100 kd so that's the minimum that the government uh, uh, set like any company here is not supposed to pay anyone less than 100 kd you know so so it depends with the qualification that you have if it's a let me let me let me let me let me, let me Sorry, I, I lost you there for a bit. You broke uh, off. Uh, you said 100 k k Kuwaiti dinar. That is the minimum Kuwait wage, dinar. right? Yeah, that's the minimum. Like uh, minimum uh, wage, basic right, pay. Cool. Because you you might uh, you might work eight hours and then if you work overtime, probably uh, definitely you'll get uh, more money. Yeah. So that's the minimum wage. Yeah. Oh, all right. Interesting. To yeah. Know. Um. So. I mean, how did you stumble upon your opportunity when you were here in Kenya? Was it like recommended or you, you just did your own search or how was that experience like? This is to answer Travel and Frank, uh, who may be listening here and taking notes here like crazy. Uh, I was referred by someone. Yeah. Uh, I remember yeah. I told you that I used to go to these uh, security meetings uh, yes. back home. So there was someone in who I used to meet uh, most of the time because uh, we used to do these meetings after every two weeks mm -hmm. yeah so mm -hmm. you know when you 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 meet people the way you build friendship or that community so we used yes. to meet at the meetings we exchange contacts and we used to share nice. ideas because i was in a security firm he was in a security firm so if i see anything on my side and uh, mm -hmm. i don't understand because we are friends we share ideas you know so mm -hmm. The, uh, the guy had a, a brother, a brother who is in, in the U.S. And uh, mm. he's the one who knew about this uh, connection uh, that they are recruiting wow. people from, from Kenya. So because I had shared with him a lot of uh, stuff, he knew what I did in college and nice. what my passion was. So he just shared to me, like, hey, bro, uh, there's an opportunity here in Kuwait blah, 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 blah. Are you ready to take it? Because uh, there's a, an agency here in Kenya which is recruiting, mm -hmm. but the number is very limited. So if you are willing, I can talk to my brother and send your details to the agency. Though there was some amount that you are supposed to pay. And I was like, it's okay. 
so that's how i got yeah. the opportunity yeah and, and i like how i like what bev bev art is saying bev art kitchen says networking can open doors and you know that's actually yeah, a very exactly, good lesson exactly, right? yeah that's actually yeah. a very good lesson right there you know it is it is because you you know because you network because you put out put yourself out there you yeah. you're able to get an opportunity that most people didn't even know about and i like what you said it was a very limited it was a very limited like uh opportunity like most people didn't know about it and you know can you imagine that connection that is coming all the way from the united states Yes. Not even Kenya like you know uh, my brother I I'll get my brother my brother knows this thing that is happening in Kuwait and you know it's very limited so it's really yes. I think I really like that. Uh Obi Obi Nadi nice to see you. that is Obi's second channel social with Obi. Uh, I want let me let me acknowledge my newest channel member Ob, uh, Home Care Queen TV and Blogs thank you so much for the membership. Uh Home Care just became a YouTube channel member here let me give her like her blessing real quick before uh <music> the power of networking and putting yourself out there that is point number one you're learning from dida safari that's the point number one you're uh, actually point number two because uh he's talked about a lot of other things uh, you know uh you know getting out of your comfort zone living a small kenyan village to go uh you know to go outside his comfort zone that's not something that uh you know you take uh you take for granted um you know in your time in kuwait because now you have been like there for what uh four years you're in your fourth year in kuwait yes. um what are like your most memorable moments of that country like it can be anything i don't know uh what what are your what are your most favorite moments uh, of being in that country the ones that really stand out for you that you could share with us uh the first one is when um the country was open up like you could go uh you know yeah. places because i had been here for close to two years you know yeah. close to two years i didn't know where the city is or the capital city is you know yeah so i i i still remember that day because when i decided to take that uh time to visit the yeah. city you know because where i am i remember last time i did a live stream i i, mm. uh, I was showcasing around uh the place i stay but it's very mm. different from the city you know so I was like, I mean, wait for two years, but I don't know Kuwait because Absolutely. I was confined in a, in a small place because from the place I stay to my workplace, it's like 45 minutes drive. It's a 45 minute, for five minutes drive. Yeah. So you can imagine staying for two years, you are staying at a place whereby it, you know, for five minutes drive to work and for five minutes drive back to your accommodation for two years. So when I decided now to 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 start going around, that is the most memorable day that I can still remember up to date. You know, because I saw so many good stuff here in Kuwait, going to the malls, you know, meeting new people. Uh -huh. Sorry, I, I I like some few reactions I'm getting there. So Nan Musa says opportunities come once. And you literally jumped on it and grab it, uh, grabbed it. Uh, Island yeah. Sisters, who is watching us from the United Kingdom, says the fact is still we live in a world where it is who knows who when it comes to opportunities. Uh, that's true. Yeah. And then um, Home Care Queen says, my pleasure. Thank you so much, Home Care Queen. Once again, I appreciate the membership. I see my super, uh, my newest other channel member, Anjali Vlogs, is also still on the chat. Do I know uh, Anjali Vlogs is just, it's very late in India, but thank you so much. Uh, Obi says it can be hard, but tr to trust the process. But taking a step forward can take you places, and you did take the step forward, even though the first one year was rough. <laughs> you know, even yeah, if the first exactly. one year was rough, uh, you know, you still you still took that particular opportunity. Um, I'm, I want to I'm, I want to like uh, I want, I'm very curious about the you know the 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 area you know the 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 prof your profession specifically in uh, in Kuwait. Um, and you know, you keep on saying security, the security space. I'm just trying to figure out because you know, some people when they hear about Middle East, and you know, the first question Kavi Kai asked you was, "Is there a war going on there?" One of the things that yeah. people think about when it comes to these countries, you know, it's always, "Is there a war going there?" You know, go, uh, going on there. <laughs> like, uh, so security-wise, you know, um, how does what does that entail? Is it, uh, you know, what's a, what's a typical day? day like for dida safari at work 
in that security space do you get do you get to like be running around uh you know grabbing um for lack of a better word grabbing any weapon or something like that or how is how is it how is security like uh especially in kuwait um i i can't share more about the place that i work for security reasons yeah. but uh generally yeah. kuwait is very safe kuwait is very yeah. safe even for for the people who come here as security guards maybe guarding malls or guarding um like uh, banks because we, we 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 normally have the security guards you, you understand yeah, yeah but it's uh, it's more of a crowd control crowd control like the way people come in controlling them when they are getting to the malls you know uh, mm. surveillance you know that is out uh, out out of the place that I work because I cannot give details I cannot not give mm. details because of the kind of uh, a place it's a bit sensitive you understand right. yeah yeah yeah. Right. But, but, yeah but uh uh the question that uh Kavi asked if uh, there's war here uh mm. it's a very free country those who are on my live stream last time when I was going around showing people I went through the beach I went to the malls there's a place that I was uh, I saw uh the police you know mm. if you compare kuwait to place like saudi arabia it's a bit different mm. or iraq or even afghanistan kuwait is more of african you can do anything it's only that they have restriction like you uh for for liquor you know yeah. the alcohol is not allowed here though some people you know mm. they, they they have it you know they're having it uh there's some stuff that they're, they're not allowed there's sometimes they're telling you that you 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 can't hold hands like a man and a woman on the streets unless you're married but streets, yeah. no no one cares no one cares you know so it's more of a free country so uh if you're here you need to know what what is right you do what mm-hmm. is right yeah but um generally going to the malls you know it's very it's very free you know there are no I any like threats yeah there are no any threats because if you move around uh you see you see police everywhere you see police everywhere where you know keeping security uh-huh. yeah all right uh you have a question from dc and thank you so much kisha i i see kisha uh, thank you so much kisha kisha has to like uh, attend to some uh, engagement thank you so much kisha for helping me out um if dc is asking you if you had a job opportunity in the us could you take it of course yes of course yes. I'm, very, <laughs> I'm very open i'm very open yeah. to to any job anywhere in this world as long as yeah. i know that it will it will better my my life no because uh when i left when i left kenya i got this mm. opportunity to come here but i can't say like i'm living my best life yeah. you understand because there are people who are earning even more than me right and some uh, in life money is not enough now maybe you, you wish i could be getting a certain amount of money once you of get course. that place you mm. wish for more yeah so of course you never you never really feel like you've arrived somewhere it's always like it only the, it's like the goal post is always shifted yeah yeah so, so like I'm, I'm very i'm very open and i'm flexible to go anywhere in this world so i i took this opportunity as a stepping yeah. stone i know this is not the end of me so if there's any opportunity in the us or anywhere i'm very open and you and you know you you're you're still networking there you're meeting people that you'll not ordinarily meet you know in a yes. in a in a situation like in, in kenya for example so it's it's yeah. still it's still it's still ongoing uh kavika yeah. is offering to be your tour guide she's get, she's excited about the idea of you kavi it was a question by dc dc asked a question kavi <laughs> did i did not say that he's coming to the us did i say that yes he will grab the opportunity they <clears throat> I don't, this one is already like volunteering to be a tour guide and everything. You know, try Google, try Google, and that's my sister. That's my sister. Kai, <laughs> thank you. Yeah. No, she's already like when it, when is Dida coming to the US? I'm going to be the tour guide. I'm going to I'll, I'll do everything. Like it was a question. He was answering a question. Let me let me stop. He's, he's, she's getting excited all of a sudden. She's getting excited. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And then um, oh my goodness. And the teacher is like saying, but guys, yeah. remember I'm Dida's sister and he's not marketing me. 
Iya. Yo. Nate, nate. Wow. Oh my god. Yeah, na, na, nate, nate, na, natecho is my sister, guys. Natecho is my sister and she's still single. I live in Natecho. Single. Natecho can market. Single and side. Natecho is a big single. YouTuber. She can she, she can market. <laughs> Natisho can make you think Natisho needs your your PR. Natisho Natisho is PR a PR machine in our own in our own right. She just needs to yeah, come and start I dancing know, on, the, on the channel. This one is crazy. <laughs> she just messing us with, uh, messing up with that. Natisho doesn't need that. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Doesn't need this. Yeah. Natisho has, has been through a lot of potential marriages, including Ireland, and mm-hmm. uh, Ireland. Ireland collapsed the other day, so now we are waiting to see uh, which other country. And they tend to be very international in nature. I've not seen it. Uh, she doesn't play local games. Um, so yeah. she's keeping it. She's keeping it uh, international. Um, so I won't be surprised. <laughs> she, she, said she, surprised. Has three. she has three. Yeah, so she's juggling it's... with three <laughs> from different countries. <laughs> Um, did the challenges, challenges of living in Kuwait, because I know we've talked a lot about the benefits. What are some of the challenges you face, especially as a, as an immigrant in, in that foreign country? If there, if there's any, sometimes it may be, I mean, you, you probably know, you probably know it better. Um, what are some of the drawbacks, you know, uh, that come with being out there, you know, that you could share with us? Uh, the first challenge, you know, uh, <clears throat> is being away from home. You know, yeah, I can imagine. Living, li- living your family back home, being here, you know, working, even if you are getting everything, you have the money, okay, uh, you have a better place to sleep, you have food to eat, you know, being far yeah. away from home, that's a very big challenge, you know. Sometimes yeah. you, you feel uh, you are so down, you miss your family, and uh, yeah. it's not a place that you can even fly or you can you can go like uh within a day and come back you know going back home you need to have money because if you go home you need also to spend some money so that's a big that's challenge also yeah even if we ha- uh, there are so many opportunities here but that's a challenge number two is mm-hmm. uh, the work you know here uh back home we have social life we have social mm-hmm. life like during weekends, you can go meet uh, friends. You can go meet friends. You can go for parties. Here, it's a bit different. Here, it's work, 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 work. From work, you uh, yeah. you you come back home. You're tired. You have uh, some errands to run. You sleep. You know, like for me, I wake up at three a.m. Three a.m. Wow. By, yeah, I wake up at three a.m. and by four. You know, it's when I leave the accommodation. So I start my work at five. So it's Oof. five to five. Those are 12 hours because even if you are getting paid, your basic pay, the basic pay is not enough. So you have to work overtime. So the mm-hmm. overtime is the one which has the money. The money is in overtime. So definitely if you come here, you you, you come to, to work to get money. So you'll have to work 12 mm-hmm. hours. So if you work 12 hours, you can imagine from five to five, and you woke up at 3 a.m. You left the accommodation at uh, at uh, at four o'clock, and then from yeah. work back to the accommodation, it takes like for five minutes. So some minutes to six, you are in the accommodation. So you can imagine that from three o'clock you are up to six uh, in the evening. So that's a challenge. That's a challenge. But uh, we are here to work and make the, uh, that money. Yeah, absolutely. You can imagine. Yeah. Uh, Eunice, Eunice Ministry says, wow, hongera kwa ikimakubwa. Um, that's a compliment to you. And then, Natecho, Natecho, there's a conversation that is going on on the chat. I'm just laughing here quietly because DC, you, Natecho, DC, DC offered the brother, DC, uh, DC said my brother is single all the way in uh, in Boston, Massachusetts. Then Home <laughs> Care Queen asked, asked DC to say, tell us the age. Then, of course, DC said the brother is 54 and he has never been married. So, there's a Natecho, I, I, whatever you do, that information is entirely up to you. I was just like, it's dropping <laughs> into the conversation between DC and Home Care Queen. And I thought that is relevant because you are on Dida Safari's live stream. So, you probably didn't see it. Whatever you do, that information is entirely up to you. Um, but just know that somebody, uh, you know, if, uh, you know, if, uh, if he's never been married and he's 54, uh, it comes with certain benefits. 
whatever you do, that information is entirely up to you. I am not going to repeat it. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever <laughs> you do, that information is entirely up to you. It's entirely mm-hmm. up to you. Um, <laughs> yeah, so that you stop bothering your brother when he's on the panel. Um, yeah. Uh, and uh, you know, you said something about the challenge of working abroad, being away from family, and especially a very young family. I mean, how yeah. do you, you know, how do you like, um, you know, how do you get to like uh, stay in, you know, you're a, you're a husband. And you're a father of two the kids are very young uh, probably your firstborn just started school um yeah. you know how do you get to like really try as much as you can to just be in their life you know as a father and you're abroad because i'm just trying to imagine just the challenge of uh what what do i call it uh, that remote that that remote aspect of connecting with your kids and your wife i mean how do you how do you go about that because in addition to just being away from home and you know you only have uh you can only come at certain times in the year because it's a bit expensive as, as well especially after covid it has never been the same so yeah. how do you get to how do you get to actually find balance and you know so just be in your family's life as much as you're abroad mm, the most important thing if you're far from your family because there's yeah. nothing that you can do the only thing is communication you have to keep up with communication because you yeah. can't say like you'll stay um, for a day or two uh, before mm. you communicate with your family. So for me, what I do, and I think it works for me, uh, it's uh, constant communication. Like in the morning, uh, I communicate with them. Once I come mm. back from work also, I communicate with them. You know, yeah. for us here, the internet is very stable. so. Because I'm working and I'm earning, so I need to spend money to make them also get um, a stable uh, internet so that I can communicate with them uh, constantly. Yeah. yeah. Absolutely. Uh, DC, DC, thank you so much for stopping by. DC, before you go, we need your brother's contact. Don't just leave us there because these people are going to start asking, uh, uh, they're going to start like harassing me tomorrow. DC, um, how do we get your brother? We come to your channel or something? DC? What do we do? How do we get your brother's contact? These ladies are going to like attack me tomorrow. They'll be like, DC offered the brother yesterday, Google. Can we get the contact? If you don't have DC designs and collectibles, grab DC if you want to get the number to the brother. Single, rich, based in Boston, Massachusetts. Um, <laughs> okay, DC says that. No, I can give you the number without his permission. No, tell us how we can get it. Tell us how we can get it because these ladies who are on the chat here, they are going to like start asking me, Goga, why did you let DC go without asking us for the number, uh, asking on our, uh, the number on our behalf? Um, so guys, you can grab DC. This is on the chat. DC can uh, sort you out with the brother's number. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, the things, the things people make me go through on live streams. Anyway, um, yeah so and and thank you so much for like that answer because it's it's one of those things that you know you 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 really i mean it's it's a it's a bit hard but you know you have to do what you have to do because then you you ensure that the family is provided for and you know um you know things are going on well your youtube channel so you you started your youtube channel uh we just we just got your channel to 1000 subscribers what 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 where did you get this idea and when when did you like start your youtube channel uh uh, my YouTube channel, no, uh, I didn't plan to be a YouTuber or a content creator. When I yeah. came here, I, I already had this account, this Google account. So I used to, yeah. uh, I was using it to support other people on YouTube. And uh, yeah. remember when I came here, it was uh, at the mid of uh, the pandemic. So yeah. there are so many people who knew that I had traveled. I came, uh, I've come to, to Kuwait and Kuwait is a different country in in a different continent so especially my friends my family members were asking me like how is Kuwait mm. though here we are on lockdown but for them they, they, they were like yo you, you you can even take a small video from your window so that you can see how it is yeah so you can, you can yeah so you can imagine sending this video to maybe 10 people and they keep on asking you every day like send send us <laughs> this video yeah, send us a small video, send us a small video, you know? So yeah. I decided like to take these videos, to take videos and upload in my, my my channel so that if someone asks for a video, they just go to my channel. So absolutely, I, I did it. Yeah, so I did it for my family. Like if you want to, to see what is going on here, just go to my channel and see. 
so i was not doing it like uh you know when you take the video you need to edit blah 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 yeah i just took the video and uploaded direct so you want to see just go there and see as long as you have the internet because i've provided um you know <laughs> you with the uh, bundles there's a uh there's a router a wi-fi router you 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 can you can you can watch you can watch it's, you see? Absolutely. so uh you see my, my my family also have friends so maybe if a friend asks, ah, how is Dida doing? Ah, he's good. You can, you can check. You can check on his channel. So that's yeah. how now my, my, my channel started growing. So I was like, I, I was uploading for my family to see. But <laughs> apart from seeing, they were subscribing. Their friends yes. also were subscribing. Yeah. For a point, I got to 100, uh, 100 uh, subscribers. And nice. uh, some, of, yeah, some of my friends here, they were like, you see you can take more videos and upload you can you can see now you are at uh, 100 subscribers you mm. you can make this um uh youtube channel uh even bigger and maybe at some point it will help you so i was like yeah. a bit reluctant to do that but uh after the end of uh, corona when now everything was open uh yeah. there was this question uh so many people were asking me because now kuwait is an arabic country they were yes. like uh, are there churches in kuwait are there people celebrating um uh, are people celebrating christmas, christmas? yeah so it was uh yeah. during uh 20 was it 20 20 2021 yeah 2021 yeah. uh december 25th so that's mm. my first um my first video that I did during Christmas, just to show people that, yeah, indeed, this is a, an Arabic country, but people celebrate Christmas. So oh. I did, uh, I, I took that video, I edited and posted on my my channel. Yeah. So when I, when I posted that uh, video, I got like 20 subscribers from that video. Interesting. So I was like, yeah, so I was like, this can work this can work and then some of my workmates also they started uh, subscribing and uh, i decided to do more videos to upload yeah. in my channel but uh, yeah. when i got to 160 that number was not going up it was just there it's, so you know it is this yeah so it was this time i was like now i have to to take this serious so i was serious when i wasn't yeah. serious the, subs the, the 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 subscription was going up but when i was serious <laughs> the number was stagnant i was like yes yeah. this is not, this is not my thing and then um you know by then i used to watch uh, ayamaro mm. ayamaro a lot and uh there are these reactors reactors you know we have the positive reactors yes. and the negative reactors so i came across mm. uh brenda brenda erumbi her channel was yes. very small, but uh, you know, I had seen so many negative reactors. I think Brenda mm. Erumbi is the first um, uh, positive reactor that I came across. So I connected yeah. with her, and then, mm -hmm. um, you know, uh, and then as I was going through, you know, the way you, YouTube works, if I connect with you, then uh, there are suggestions that there are suggestions that will come of your friends. Yes. So yes. when I connected with the uh, Erumbi, I I connected to I saw Ifeani, you know. I think. Uh, oh wow! Our, yeah. my, my brother from Germany. Yeah, from Germany. So I think yeah. I, I I did I, I made a comment in uh, in Brenda Erumbi's uh, channel, and then uh, Ifeani reacted to my comment. So when yeah. he reacted to my comment, I went to check his channel. He had done yeah. something also, a video that he had mentioned I am Marwa. So I was like, yeah. let me connect with this guy because he's from Africa and uh, he's also talking good about our my African brother. So I connected to Ufeanyi. And then when yeah. I connected to him, it brought me to, to you now. You know, yeah. I saw you live. The first wow. time I met yeah, the first time I knew you, you were you were on a live stream uh, with Ifeanyi, uh, with this uh, Bruce, Bruce yeah. from Jamaica, Bruce and uh, Stephen Mahalski. Oh, 
Yeah. Yeah. So I was like, who is this guy uh, shouting here? Yeah. You know. <laughs> so I had to stay. <laughs> You know, because oh, I, saw Ife, I saw Ifeani, I saw yeah. Ifeani in the panel, and I decided to stay uh, so that I can know what the topic is. I was like, this guy is shouting. Who is he? And then you are sharing, you know, the information that you are sharing. I had to yeah. stay until the end of the of the live stream. So at the wow. end of the live stream, I didn't connect to you at the first uh, at the first time. I didn't connect yeah. to you. Yeah, but, but I stayed there because of Ifeani. And then I came to your second live stream. And then as I was commenting there, you noticed me and you asked me, Hey, Dida, where are you coming from? I said, I'm from, uh, I'm from Kenya. Where, where in Kenya? I said, Mombasa. Now you said, uh, if you're from Mombasa, you need to connect to Priscilla. That's yeah. how I connected <laughs> to Priscilla. <laughs> you know? Yeah, then, yeah, so, yeah your, your people. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so when I connected to Priscilla, I think yeah. there are a couple of people who connected to me in your live stream when you mentioned my name. And I was like, oh, so so getting bananas is this easy. So I went to Priscilla, I got bananas, and I started moving. That's how now I got now the, yeah. the, 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 the morale now to continue with this YouTube. And uh, when I got to 400, everybody was like, Dida, you need to start going live, you know, because... yeah. I, w I was not like uh, starting this YouTube or I, I didn't mean, I mean to be a YouTuber or a content creator. But now you can yeah. see the journey from uploading to for my family members to see uh, to mm. a point where now I meet, uh, uh, I comment in Brenda Erumbi's channel and then I meet Ifeanyi. Ifeanyi brings me to Goga. Goga sends me to, to, uh, <laughs> to Priscilla and the rest is history. You know, I, I mean, met Indaya, I, Indaya, I mean, Nan. I, I'm actually shocked because, you know, sometimes, and, and you know, you're, you're making me reflect, and Rebecca Mle Prince is just saying that on the chat. You know, you're making yeah. me reflect on things I never even think about because I just saw your name and, you know, I never really think about it. And I didn't know that, you know, just me giving that simple shout out could have actually made a difference, to be honest. Yeah. Um, and, you know, uh, and it's, and, and that's always say that, you know, sometimes when we, when we sit in these platforms, you wield a lot of power and with, with power comes a lot of responsibility, but it is how you channel that power sometimes. And, you know, I also like the fact that you've also been a very curious person, you know, looking for those connections. Because yeah. there are people who just sit on a live stream and they're like, they'll not even be bothered. They'll never even be bothered. But you are like, who is this person? I saw I saw this person the other day. Uh, now he's here. You know, what? what, what is? I, I like that curiosity because it normally helps you, like, actually take the next step. So I'm glad. I'm yeah. glad. I'm just like, wow. I didn't even know it was the Ifiani was the Ifiani was the link. That was actually a very that's a very good observation. I'll definitely tell my my amazing uh Nigerian brother that 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 information when I meet him next. Um, um and you know it's princess it's just on it, my chat, on my chat, on my side, Princess Freya is yeah. uh is in the chat. Thank you for coming, yeah. dear sister. Princess Freya is uh is my neighbor here in Kuwait. I mean Oh Kuwait. nice. She's yeah. in block three. And I was connected to, I mean, I connected to Freya through Nate. Yeah. I was at Nate's place and she said, uh, visit this person. You know, remember yeah. I told you when I, I, I was stuck at uh, 160. So I got yeah. some bananas from your place. I went to, um, I went to Priscilla's place. I got some bananas. I went to Nate and, uh, I think I went up to close to 200. And then I was yeah. at Nate's uh, live stream and uh, she said, hey, if you, if you want to grow, visit uh, Princess Freya. And then all of a, uh, a sudden, Princess Freya uh, commented in, uh, yeah. in Nate's uh, live stream. So I was yeah. like, oh, I, I saw your videos. You are, you are, you are here in Kuwait. I said, yes. Okay, I'll yeah. give you some bananas. I won't mention the number, but I say she said I'll give you some bananas. So I took <laughs> it as a joke. How can someone <laughs> give those bananas? You know? Yeah. yeah. And I the know. following day, and the following day when I came from work, I checked the, the, my, my bananas. They had grown. I was like, so is this lady, lady for real? You know? That's how I, <laughs> that's how I, I connected to prayer 
and I've been attending her live stream though when I come from work yeah. she's almost done but I've been attending so you you see now the connection I've connected to so I love I I love that and I like the fact that she's your neighbor. Can you imagine like you say this yeah. is your neighbor there, right there in Kuwait. It's just amazing. Exactly. And mm-hmm. and Natitu is actually the one who go to that connection. Uh Lilian Okendo says, I remember Dida coming to my live stream and he stayed for he stayed up to the end. I was humbled that day. That's how we connected. Amazing, amazing, amazing. Yeah, and I um, normally keep telling uh, telling guys like uh, there are people who uh I I, I call it hip hopping. They, they they come to Goga's place five minutes. They hop to another live stream. For me, I've uh, I've been able to grow that uh, that fast because if I come to your live stream, I stay even if it's one hour or the entire live stream because in uh, that way and I become very active in the in the chat because that way now you 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 leave an impression to that person and you meet new people. You chat, you know. Uh, yeah, the next day. Actually- Mm. Yeah, the next day you you'll see maybe one or two people have viewed you have old content because they want to see who is this person who came to that live stream and stayed for 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 two hours or three hours. And then when you come from work, you see someone has viewed your your content and left a a, a very sweet comment, a content that you uploaded maybe two or three years ago. Yeah. See, absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. And uh, even Michelle Mo, Michelle Mo uh, says that yeah, Dida is very supportive. Goga is a crowd puller. <laughs> I'm just you you heard what Dida say. I yeah. I saw this man on the panel and he was shouting. That literally that's how he that's what he remembers. You know like and I'm like yeah. oh, I was shouting. Wow. So that's you have to make yourself memorable. You have to make yourself memorable. Uh that's why people will, that's how people will keep uh, they'll they'll get they'll, they'll stay because they're like anything can happen here and I don't want to miss out. <laughs> Yeah. maybe drama they may be received so you have to actually do it um yeah natasha will talk about this uh, natasha is just giving me information about the reactor that you talked about that she lost her channel today after three copyright strikes so i i i am not very sure about that information so i will just look into it first and then i don't i don't know i don't know i don't know the reactor yeah i i think uh, i think i saw this uh, in a in a certain live stream i was two days yeah. ago because she had um she commented and then she said this is my new my new channel because the other one is not working so i didn't oh. know why so i tried to 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 call her like erumbi but she was gone so i think oh, wow. uh, yeah i think that's true yeah all right um yeah i've i've never but you know it's uh, it's unfortunate it's not easy when you have to lose a channel um yeah. not not so cool not so cool and it was work, uh, uh, doing very good can imagine because our reactors reactors tend to be very popular and you know they get views and everything i i do have one of my very one of my very good uh, friends on youtube is a reactor uh yeah. you know you all know her so <laughs> so she's like yeah so i know i know what it takes um the other thing i'm going to ask and that now i'm really coming towards the end um so and i like what jeriki money and uh lady posh were discussing the yeah. power of family supporting your channel you know you you got the demand and you thought mm-hmm. you know you could think on your feet you are like i'm not going to be sending people videos every day i am going to start a channel and you guys will have to go there and watch it you know yeah. whether you intended it to be like a, a channel or not it automatically happened because yeah. you you kind of killed two birds with one stone you're like guys i'm not going to be wasting my time sending messages and you know africa we are like Guys, let me tell you guys, and Dida Safari will correct me if I'm wrong. You know, Africa, we are very, we are very big on community. Africa, we are not isolated like other countries. Yeah. If Dida Safari is abroad, even the grandmother has to be updated on his whereabouts. Yes. Everybody knows, even the village chief probably knows about where he is. It's very <laughs> Africa, you can't hide your business. Everybody knows your business in Africa. We are just yeah. wired that way. It's a very social and Dida's place, the coastal people, they are even more live alone even uh, th- those of us who have lived in the big city like Nairobi as we are kind of losing the value. But yeah. Dida's people from the coast, they are still that connected. They live as a community. There's that togetherness. They are very close to each other. So people yeah. are bound to know what you are up to. People are bound to know what you are up to. So I think that was a very smart <laughs> that was a very smart strategy of starting a channel. And um, and I like what uh, with going back to what Njeri Kimani and Lady Posh were just discussing. 
you know, the power of family in supporting our channels. I've been on enough live streams where people are complaining about how their families are not supporting their content. But you are having you're having a flip side. You're having actually the other side. Your first 100 subscribers, you can tell it was from family and family recommending, you know, getting to seek yeah. weight from the lens of our son. And, you know, by then they call you our son, our exactly. son. Yeah. Um, how do you find the support now? Even, you know, um, do you still get that support from the family or as you grow, do you feel like they are dropping off? Um, just curious. Um, as, as I grow... I see yeah. like uh, they are dropping off because, uh, uh, um, you know, there's there, there some point whereby you, 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 when you want to post a, a video, mm. you, you, you post a link on WhatsApp status, you know, yes. on social like Facebook, <laughs> because you want to see the views go up. Yes. At the yes, beginning, the views, at the beginning, the yeah. it was very, it was very easy. Remember, yeah. I have my immediate family my father, my mother, and my, my siblings, you know? Yeah. Uh, but at first, you know, we have those people like cousins, uncles, they want to know. But now, yeah. going forward now, you, you expect them to support you, but they're not supporting you. Only your immediate family, yeah. like bro uh, brothers, sisters, and uh, and parents, you see? Yeah, yeah so I think it, uh, it cuts across for, uh, at the board, like... Uh, uh, mm. most people if they see you succeed you know if they see you succeed uh i don't know if uh it's like jealousy or I, I i don't know how to explain it but it's normal it's normal it's, normal. it's only it's those normal. people very close to you that they'll feel happy for you but once you're, you you are making it some people will leave you you know and it's, saying, and it's, oh yeah why am i and it's and it's it, to be honest it's 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 and it's okay and i always tell people sometimes it's okay yeah, when it's you have okay. to like okay. when you have to separate uh because you're not meant to stay in one place forever yeah. so sometimes you have to like uh home care queen was talking about you know home care queen was uh you were there last sunday when home care queen was talking about mental uh advocacy for content creators and you know she said it that you know she she's flying with the eagles and she has company there so sometimes, sometimes when you start getting up there, you you get you will find your company even on the next level, and it's okay, and it's okay, yeah. it's okay. Mm -hmm. Um, so I like I like that answer, guys. If you have any question for Dida, please feel free to ask. Um, I'm already done with everything I wanted to ask him. So in case you have anything that you want to ask Dida Safari, please feel free to ask on the chat, and then I'll be able to uh, answer. Thank you so much, Anjali Vlogs. Anjali Vlogs is leaving the live stream, guys. If you don't have Anjali Vlogs, that is my newest channel member. And that is a channel with over 100,000 subscribers. It's a channel with a silver button. I met Anjali Vlogs at Jason and Gina. I met Anjali Vlogs at Jason and Gina. Anjali Vlogs, before you go, I want you to type, uh, you're a moderator, you can drop your house or just type for me Goga on the chat. Just type for me Goga on the chat. Um, Anjali Vlogs is like, uh, that's a big deal. I was on that, I was I was on uh, her live stream today and I felt so welcome. I, did, I was shocked when... The, you know, like sometimes you think people don't know you. I walked there and I was like, how did this person know like my full name? Yoga with Goga. Welcome to that. I was like, yo, are you talking to me? Like I've never been on their live stream. But it was such an honor to know that my name is being thrown around like uh, even in such a huge house. So thank you so much, Anjali Vlogs, for, uh, for really the membership and the support. It's such an honor to have this support all the way from India and especially a house of your caliber. I'm so honored. I'm so honored. So thank you so much, Anjali Vlogs. I thought I should just put out there. It's very late in India for sure. And, you know, I don't want to keep a silver button hold on the live stream. You know? They're busy. <laughs> They're booked, blessed, and busy people. So, but, you know, they, they stayed on my live stream this long. So thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, Anjali. Um, all right. So if you have any question that you want to ask Dida, any curious question you may have, I know the ladies were, I know, ladies, I know your question has already been, you know, done and dusted. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I yeah. Know. On my end, on my end, uh, on my end, and Jerry Mani says it's jealousy. Let's call it as it is. Yeah. yeah. Mm. And then you have uh, Lilian Oken. Uh, sorry, uh, Lilian Okendo says. Um, Lilian Okendo says that's why I love my YouTube family more. And don't ask me why, because Dida has said it all. All right, all right. I yeah, like that true, reaction true, true. because because even uh, um, even where we work, you know. Uh, uh, sometimes you 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 are working around uh, a lot of negativity 
from your yeah. co-workers to the management you know even some sometimes you you feel like quitting you feel like quitting the job but you know what you came to do here so sometimes when you come like in the evening you open your phone and you 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 meet your your yt family you feel so good because even if you 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 are having some pressure at work you know yeah. you feel like <laughs> oh you feel like you are at home Huh? Exactly, exactly. So that, 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 that's really true, Lilian Okendo. And thank you, Sister Kavi. Thank you, Sister Kavi. Sister Kavi told me to drink water. Yeah, thank you for yeah. that. Yeah, mm-hmm. drink water, my yeah. Drink Kavi. Yeah. Kavi really. Kavi really. Kavi, I don't drink. <laughs> Kavi, I don't trust you. I don't trust you, Kavi. I don't trust you. Um, if there's any question that you have for the co-host, feel free to ask. I am kind of done. I think she. I think he has really said it all. To be honest, he has really said it all. He's very. He's a very pleasant person to speak to, and you know, I like how he's very relaxed and you know, natural and you know, it's uh, it's the conversation is flowing. Um. You have a question from Natecho. Natecho is asking you, uh, Dida, what kind of work uh, can girls get easily if they want to come to Kuwait? Apart from oh. uh, being a house uh, housemaid. Uh, uh, the job that I've seen, uh, many ladies come here uh, to... Uh, we have these, um, what are they called? Like wait, wait, waitresses. Waitresses, mm-hmm. because we have a lot of uh, hotels here, hotels and the fast food, uh, whatever. Yeah, so that is one. Yeah, she says apart from house housemaid. Yes, waitresses, mm-hmm. waitresses, waitresses, and then the other one is uh, barristers, barristers, because this is a course that you can do uh, even for three weeks, three weeks or four weeks. So, oh wow, if you, yeah. So and and it pays um good money it pays good money and every day there is a yeah every day there is a demand of barristers even the other day i saw one um uh, there's a there's a certain group here kenyan community mm. in kuwait there's someone who had posted that they wanted uh, three barristers from kenya now you see uh back home there are no men, uh, many people don't know about this uh, this cause this cause uh, of uh, barrister, but uh, having been here now, even I can I can recommend so many people to do that because, like here in the Arabic countries, they 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 drink this coffee a lot, especially during winter season. There's a very high demand of baristas, and it's something that you can do it even for three weeks. After three weeks, if you get a genuine agent, agent, you can travel and. Uh, work as a barrister so that is one barrister and number two uh you can work as a waitress those are the 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 jobs that i see they have demand for ladies number three is cashiers cashiers at the malls like of late i've seen so many people coming from kenya and ghana in the neighboring malls yeah so there you have it uh, and she asks about accommodation. What about accommodation? Yeah, here, uh, most of the time, uh, if you come through an agency, uh, there's normally a host company. There's a host company that will uh, take you, uh, let's say, um, like for us, we are working for an American company, but we have a host company because the American company, this is not their place. Mm. So they have to have a host company, even if they need foreign nationals from different countries of the world. Even the Americans themselves, when they come here, their visa processing is made by this company. Oh, okay. okay. The company that uh, brought me from Kenya. So if you come here, there's normally a host company that will process your visa they will provide transportation uh, mm. uh from your accommodation to work uh though some 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 companies don't provide food so it depends with the contract that will sign with the with the company so like my company provides for everything like from accommodation transportation so if you get your salary that's your money mm. Okay, All right. but some com- yeah, some companies will provide. So it depends with the company that you you'll get. Some of them give you accommodation and transportation. 
and um, if you think maybe because when they bring you from from Kenya they sometimes mm. they tend to pay you less money because of the expenses that they have gone through but the the ah, law here okay. is that yeah but the law here is that when you 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 are, you finish your contract or you finish three years with that company you can ask for a release letter they can give you a letter of release and then you can mm. go to another company you can look for another job so if you have a, a free visa like the, the the free visa here is called visa 18 which is yeah. which which allows you to work in in any company you know in any company or anywhere so after three years if you come here after three years you can get the release and you can work mm. in any any company so it depends companies vary uh so it depends with the agency that will take you from kenya but accommodation mm. in most cases they give you accommodation because here houses are very uh expensive all right you have a question yeah. from uh, uh i'll read for you the questions because i have you have a lot of questions you have a lot of questions um yeah. number the the second question is by my channel member home care queen is asking um what are the hourly rates what is a what are the hourly rates like uh i think where home care i think guess is looking at in case she was to think okay, of uh, expanding her business that would be actually a great <laughs> yeah oh uh, so is she asking this question in terms of uh, a business Wages. owner or someone being employed all right and I guess where, you can... where where are you from uh home home home, home care home. where are you from because the, the the salaries also here they vary mm. the salaries they vary depending on the company that you're working with okay oh. because we have kuwait companies we have uh, companies owned by europeans we have uh, uh american companies so in some companies the wages cut across board it doesn't matter where you're from whether you're an american or you are european or you are an african you are an yeah. asian the, the 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 salary is the same but in some other places they pay mm. you according to where you're from because now you cannot compare uh a kenyan and an african mm. uh, i mean a kenyan and an american because the economy back in america is different from kenya so you realize wow. that maybe you're working at the same place like in my chat uh there was someone there passport you said you love mm. the name passport is mm. my co-worker he's an american we work yeah. uh, at the same place so we, we we do the same job same working hours but he's being paid more than than i am because i'm from kenya so they pay according to 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 the american standards like you know the american standards and the economy you understand oh wow so wow. yeah yeah so like uh, i think for home care if you are from america i don't know because it it varies also according to the departments like those in security departments is different from those in supply different from those in movement different from other departments but i think uh, most of them is like 17 dollars per for the americans it's like 17 dollars per, per hour, hour. Oh, yeah okay. per yeah. hour so yeah. i think you can do you can do the comparison uh, between here and back home all right uh, so uh, but okay you are rich it's 17 are you are you willing to be paid 17 dollars per hour and you're used to being paid oh, i'm just kidding um, no that that, <laughs> that that that's the minimum that's the minimum yeah, we have people who are being she, paid more than that she can negotiate she, I, I know she can negotiate for more she can negotiate for more another yeah. thing uh lady posh lady posh was saying uh yeah. hospitality is the easiest way to get to gulf countries just like you have experience from your country then learn on the job <laughs> <laughs> that's an interesting one um yeah 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 M most people do that most people do yeah. that even if you don't have because the the good thing here even mm. if you come you don't have any experience you'll be trained you cannot start any job here ah. and, until you are trained it's just the same i think with the with, with the us it's not like in our countries what qualification do you have and then they ask you so many questions about that job and then when you get there straight to work here yes. even if even if i resign today i go home and then i decide to come back here and they take me after one month they will have to train me again for two weeks Oof. yeah all right so awesome. lady posh you are right you are right you can just lie 
that you did hospitality in a certain hotel, get those uh, uh, fake uh, whatever and come. Mm. Most of the Asians do that. Some of them okay. here have fake degrees and masters and they're working. A question is from Island Sisters. Are there any jobs for teachers? Yes, 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 yes. Awesome. Jobs awesome. for teachers uh, Teachers are there. As long as you, you, maybe if you are from Kenya, you, you have a TSC number to show that you, really you went to school, uh, maybe university, and then you are yeah. certified by the board of teachers, that is TSC. If you can prove mm. that, same as the nurses. Here, if you are a teacher, you can get mm. a job very easily. If you, you are a nurse, very oh, fast. Wow. Yeah, yeah. Nice. All right. Home care, you're thinking, uh, home care, I know that is literally under your right and your forte. Uh, Kavika is asking a question. I don't know that you're comfortable answering this, but, uh, you know, you'll you'll make the decision. Yeah, I can, I can. Kavi what says, uh, what what are some of the American companies there? Okay. No, no. Uh, oh, what oh, the, uh, she's asking actually the, the name of the company. You, I think you are your company. So do you want to disclose this? Or this I feel this is very... Or she can see on the side. <laughs> um, it's not one company because the place I am uh, I'm working, there are so many okay. American companies. It's uh, it's not only one. I work for one, but there are so many, okay. uh, there are so many uh, American companies at the same place. Okay, makes sense. So, um, yeah, Kavi, I see, I see the apprehension in Dida, so he doesn't want to like be very. I would, I would, I would never disclose my company. It's, uh, I mean, in this space because I don't. He speaks on behalf of the. Yeah, you can, you can talk to him on the side. I can see he's very apprehensive. Uh, so that is already. Let me, let me leave it at that. Uh, Lilian Okendo is asking you, what are the qualifications, Dida? Qualifications for. Uh, Lilian, Lilian finish, uh, finish the question. I think uh, finish the question so that it can be easy uh, for us to be able to answer. And then uh, as, you, as uh, Lilian finishes that question, Natichu is asking you a very, I think this is a very interesting question. Natichu is asking you, uh, you, I want you to answer these questions in both of them. The first question mm -hmm. she was asking is, do girls still have to cover themselves when they go out? And then are there off days? Are there off days? uh they in kuwait and then the third question is can you get a boyfriend in kuwait and stay with him so those are three questions that uh you know you <laughs> like are you already laughing before even you go so far <laughs> so we can start with the first one okay the, so yeah, uh, the hijab so so so, so the first one about a bias uh it's not mandatory you 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 wear a buyer if you want to if you are a muslim and yeah. you feel you should wear a buyer, you can wear that one. Because yeah. uh, I told you that this is more of a African country. Even those who are in my live stream, they were asking that question and they could see there are people who are walking on the, on the, on the road uh, with, uh, with pants. I know if you wear an abaya, now you have to cover all the way down. But here, yeah. even if you have pants on, your hair is open there's no problem with that because most people here you know it's more of a free country then the uh, second question is about uh accommodation off dates off dates off dates yes 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 um yes. it depends with the company it depends with the company uh there are some companies which don't have off days mm -hmm. because they are working only eight hours a day but it's not allowed uh, it's not allowed. Most most of the companies here, because according to the Kuwait private uh, private companies um, private companies uh, law, yeah, you are required to provide uh, a day off to your employee at least once. Just a oh, minute, I sense. I log I connect All right. my phone. Right there we go. So there are day offs. Everyone is supposed to get uh, a day off. Mm. A day off. That's why uh, for me today is uh, Sunday. It's my day off. Mm. Yeah. So most companies, most companies uh, have day offs. 
only only a few have had uh, some Kenyans complaining that their companies don't provide day off, but it's not allowed according to the Kuwait uh, uh, laws for private companies. It's not allowed. And then the last bit of the question, like, can you get a boyfriend and uh, <laughs> stay <laughs> together? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Um, there's something which people normally do here. Uh, mm. If you if you feel like uh, this is someone that you you want to stay with, uh, mm. you cannot live with. Uh, if you're a man, you cannot live with a woman in the same house unless you're married, right? Oh. So yeah, unless you're married. So <laughs> you, you, what you can do, what you can do, yeah, what you can do because so many people do that. You go to there's a department here in Kuwait, Kuwait government, like the way in Kenya the Muslims go to Chief Kadi and mm. uh, they get their marriage uh, marriage certificate. So you can still do, uh, do the same thing here. You go to that department. There's some fee, uh, some some fees that you're supposed to pay, and then uh, you bring witnesses and you'll get that certificate. Once you have that certificate, you can stay together. Oh, so you are not yeah. so you are not live you are not living in sin. There we there are witnesses that know that you are living in. Um, okay, I get the point. I get the point. Yeah, <laughs> get the I know point. Some, some people some people normally do that. Though yeah. even back home, maybe they are married, or maybe it's just something for you know here. Yeah, but according to to Kuwaitis, you have to get married. So they will give you that certificate once you pay that fees and you bring uh you bring a witness. They'll give you that certificate, so you can stay this together. Is, this this is regardless of whether you are a foreigner or yeah. Yeah, even if you are not a Muslim, but once you get there, you'll have to yeah. get a. Uh, you'll have to. Uh, I mean, you you'll have to. They'll have to give you a um, a Muslim name. Oh wow! You know? Okay. Yeah, okay. they'll have to give. You know, I I don't I don't I don't know the uh, full process, but I know so many people who have done that. But uh, it's like uh, it's like you are converting to be a Muslim, and then you are mm. getting married. Though for some, it's only uh, it's something that is only for for Kuwait. Mm. Yeah, but you have to have that certificate before you stay together. Once All right. once you decide to stay together without that certificate, sometimes they do these random checks, and once they realize you don't have uh, that certificate, they'll deport you back home. Natecho in. Short, Natecho, you're not coming to live in sin in Kuwait. That's what we are trying to say. You'll have to like uh, get married, Natecho. So <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Lillian, Lillian says, Lillian says, Dida, remember Natecho is representing many, many uh, through her questions. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. And then I like what uh, Homeke is also just tying closely to that before I ask you the next question is yeah. uh, Nat- Homeke is like actually asking. So you really have to be married even if you are just dating. <laughs> okay, if you are dating, if you are dating, there is no need for you to get married. The the, the point was if you want to stay together in stay the same Stay together, stay room. in the same house. Yeah. yeah. Because I, rem- I remember that's what I teach your mind, staying together in the same room. Okay, mm-hmm. uh, Kavi was asking, what are some of the American companies there? I think that's a very, I think that's that's a nicely open one. We can give examples of some that. You okay, know. some some of the American companies we have here, uh, we have uh, Vectras. I hope you know Vectras, and then we have Amentum, we have mm-hmm. KBR, we have um, V2X, Kavi. You can you you can you can search you'll you'll see the opportunities that they have KBR, Vectras, Amentum, V2X, Lados. Ooh. Yeah, there's They're so many number. They're quite yeah. a number. All right, and then um, so thank you so much for that, Kavi. And then the, I like that question. It was very whatever. Rebecca is giving a comment here. Yes, Kuwait. My relative uh, works there as a private tutor. Easy job everywhere. I confirmed. Okay, makes uh-huh. sense. That's a comment. Caribbean is doing the calculation of the salary. Caribbean is just manifesting. Wait, seventeen dollars times eight hours. That gives me one hundred and thirty-six dollars a day. Hmm. Hmm. That's Caribbean man making calculations there. <laughs> and then oh. um yeah. 
I, because of the oh, example you gave, oh, the, mini, oh, the, the, the minimum being 17 per hour. You remember the question that Tom Kiakwin asked? I think yeah, 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 yeah. And, and uh, Ka Caribbean, Caribbean, if you are from, uh, I don't know where you are from, but even if you are not from, from, uh, from, from the US, in the Caribbean, we have those islands which are, if, uh, I, I don't know if I will say they are pro, um, protectorates of the US, like we have some the, islands the over, where, which belong the over, which belong the overseas the overseas territories of the US yeah which are yeah. which belongs to the UK and some belongs to the to the US yeah. so if you you belong to those which belong to the US you can still come and work here and and that mm -hmm. man yes okay and then lady posh is offering us some insight she says the reason the reason the reason to that it's because their government emphasizes on it for example if an american uh, passes on in the line of duty the kind of care he'll get is not the same with africans so i guess it's also uh, I, I i like i like that aspect of if your country can negotiate you know uh better better i guess better rates for for you as a citizen is this do you think the do you think and this one i would ask you differently Dida? do you think the kenyan government yeah. can get do you think the Kenyan government can can get us better terms in terms of uh, agreements with the Kuwaiti government or something like that? Do you think like it can get us better terms based on just what Posh wrote here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The the the, the Kenyan government needs to up their game. Though there are yeah. uh, there are some um, negotiations or engagements that are uh, are going on because mm -hmm. remember we have the Kenya community here in Kuwait. And there's a time yeah. uh, we had a delegation. If you check from my, my 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 YouTube channel, my playlist, there was a game between Kenya and Sierra Leone. So that time mm -hmm. there was a delegation from the Kenyan Parliament who yeah. had come here uh, to negotiate about some stuff, you know, mm -hmm. concerning the Kenyans. So uh, yeah, the Kenyan government need to to up their game because I know. For the Filipinos, for the Filipinos, their government is really, really helping them. Because you realize even if you're working uh, with a Filipino, the, mm -hmm. the minimum wage for Filipinos is way higher than, than any, any of these other countries like India, uh, I mean, Kenya, or even Ghana. You know, wow. so the, the, yeah, the the Filipino, uh, the the Philippines government is really active, like protecting their people because they have this yeah, ministry. Citizens, I don't, yeah. yeah, I don't know if it's a ministry or it's an uh, like a, a parastatal. Uh, hmm. It's called OFW, like Overseas Filipino Workers. You know, so ah, it's something. Yes. Yeah, yes, I've seen that. yeah, yeah. There's something like that. OFW overseas Filipino workers and they have even an insurance back home you know so once you're work, if you're working out, outside uh, the country they are given a priority you know you have to save yeah. some money for yourself if something happens that organization or parastatal will take care of you and also the management of that parastatal and the government normally mm -hmm. comes to negotiate with other governments concerning their citizens so i think the kenyan government also needs to learn uh from from our our our, our friends you know the the, I like, I the, like the filipinos yeah yeah i like that because even uh wanga lady wanga lady and uh, lady posh are actually giving the same argument that if uh, uh lady posh says they're in bahrain because she's based in bahrain the filipino government is very strict with the percentage of salaries even house yeah. girls are supposed to be paid and wanga exactly. lady also agrees uh wanga lady also agrees uh the same uh, wanga, wanga lady also agrees the same so uh, let, let's see so um let me just see that uh Sorry, Helen is bringing something to my attention. Hey, guys, why is Dida Safari at 984 again? Or YouTube, this, that was so fast. Can you make it, correct those mistakes? You can, I hope you guys went to watch the videos. You didn't just go to click. I see it's at 984. Thank you, Helen, for that observation. Can you make, make those 15 things come back? Make those 15 things come back. Some people went and connected there with ninjas. Uh, make those 15 subscribers come up. If you're new, welcome. We were just talking about you a few minutes ago. Dida Safari said that you know you are the connection. You are the connection to me. Uh, you, 
Adidas Safari met you at somebody's house and you introduced him to somebody and then we we ended up meeting. So guys, if you don't have Dida, let's let's make those numbers come back. I don't know why they dropped. I don't know why they dropped, but it was good that they dropped when you were still here on the live stream, uh, answering yeah. the questions uh, because we can fix it. If you go check whether you are still connected to Dida Safari, and then you can uh, if it is uh, it has dropped, do it nicely. Watch a short video there or stay on the live stream and connect from the live stream there and stay stay there. The live stream is also taking place on the other side. Lilian Okendo was saying. Uh, she asked about the qualifications because you had talked about the high chance for girls to secure a job in supermarkets, etc. So she was just, I think she was thinking, talking broadly when it comes came to the uh, what Natasha had asked about the kind of work girls can do other than housemaids, you know, cashiers and waitresses and whatnot. Mm. Yeah. So yeah. if you if you if you have the experience, well and good. But if you don't have, uh, I think most of the uh, the agencies they know what they do. You know because okay. it, it it's money money speaks because they need money you need a job so if you go there even if you don't have the experience you know they'll make mm. uh, those papers for you and uh, once you get here you'll be trained and you'll work i know so many people who have come here without any qualifications and they're working all right makes sense yeah uh hey island sisters is very curious about this question about living with boyfriends and stuff island sisters <laughs> is asking what are the yeah. consequences of cohabiting? Um, like if you did, because she's yeah. wondering, okay, if you say we can't stay together unless we have a government or whatever, what are the consequences mm -hmm. of like living in sin? Natecho comes and lives with the boyfriend and they, they are not married. What are the consequences? Yeah, so the consequences is that when they... Uh, the, the the police because here we have a special a special unit of the police uh yeah. which are dealing with that with uh with that wow. those people who are yeah which uh those people who are cohabiting so once mm -hmm. they arrest you and they realize that you don't have the proper paperwork for you to live together it's straight deportation within 24 hours you're supposed to be in your country all right Oof. Hey, that's that is heavy <laughs> that's like a very that's a very heavy consequence, like deportation, not even like yeah. negotiating and stuff. <laughs> no, no negotiation. Tell us about the food. And Natecho asked this, and I think this would have been very nice. Uh, what What do you yeah. eat there? Tell us, tell us about the food. Tell us about yeah. the food. Uh, just hold on, uh, just before you respond. Uh, guys, I'm dropping Dida's link again to those ones who have not connected. I don't know why those bananas have dropped. Please make sure you give me proper bananas, ripe bananas. I don't want to see like rotten bananas. Uh, only I only need 15 of them. I don't know why it has gone back. Probably why it is doing its thing, maybe it will return them. But I want, uh, if you don't have Dida, I want you to connect to the link. We are getting him to 1K. We already got him to 1K, but I don't know why, how it dropped. Helen, thank you for bringing that to my attention. So Dida just answered the question about food. Uh, food, it depends with the company, the company that you are working with. Uh, like my, 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 my company, uh, because we have uh, different uh, people from different countries, so they mm. give you food according to where you are from. So like for us, we are Africans, they give us African food. Those from ah. India, they give them Indian food. But I've uh, had uh, some people from uh, other companies uh, mm. that are complaining because they are given the same food, like that which they are giving to the Indians. So that is where the problem is. But if your company is not providing uh, food for you, normally there is a package for the food in your salary. So you'll, 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 you'll cook for yourself. So you'll mm. cook what you want. All right, all right. Uh, Natasha, I got you. I hope you got that thing about the food. Wanga lady is screaming here. Dida, give us the Kuwait agent. Give us the Kuwait agent. Give us the Kuwait agent. And then you have a very, and then you have a, a question from Marlon. Marlon is my head of uh, linkages and international uh, partnerships. Marlon says, what is the percentage of government taxes on goods and services? I think that's a very good question because Lady Posh was on the panel, I think, last month. And I remember when you were discussing this issue of tax, you were all shocked that there was no tax <laughs> in Bahrain. Um, yeah. So 
what is the situation in, when it comes to Kuwait? Yeah, so whatever happens in Bahrain, uh, in Saudi Arabia, I think it's most of the uh, countries here in the Middle East, they, they are not taxes. Even if you get your salary, uh, like mm. you, are, you are withdrawing money from the bank, they, 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 there are no any deductions like transaction fee, there are no taxes. Mm. Yeah. All right, makes sense. Uh, I guess that I guess that the same. Uh, they're the same as you say. Not, not teacher agrees as much. Um, Wanga lady, as I said, Wanga lady also said about how the Filipino government has been very strict, and that gives better options for the Filipino workers. Natasha is pushing on the food agenda. She's asking, how does the food taste there, especially the African cuisine? How does it taste over there? Mm, it tastes good because uh, at, at at the beginning. At the beginning, uh, uh, the, the, the the African food used to be to be cooked by s some Indians, you know. So yeah. normally, if maybe the people who are cooking the food are not experts, obviously the yeah. food will not be uh, up to the standard. So it's up to you now. Uh, the the, the uh, you and your co-workers now you can uh, lodge a complaint or during food surveys during food surveys. You can uh, you can write that down or you can put it across mm -hmm. like we don't want this food so it depends with the company because some other companies they don't have that opportunity like for food surveys or maybe uh maybe making any complaints about the food once you make any complaint maybe even they contaminate you yeah but mm -hmm. uh we have the labor I, I mean we have the labor office once a company is doing something which is wrong you feel mm. it's wrong you can go and report and they can rectify that so i think uh here in kuwait they are abiding by the 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 the, the rules of the government the laws of the government so that's it so like my my my, my company there's a time that the food was not good but through the food surveys and uh, um, constant com uh, complaints they brought in cooks or mm. uh there's even a point because yeah uh the, the, the company doesn't cook. They source for a catering company. So if the catering company is not good, they have to source for another another one. So they had to change the catering company that has cooks from Africa that they can yeah. cook uh, uh, the food as you want it. Absolutely. Uh, yeah. Priscilla, uh, Anna, uh, uh, Mallory is saying thank you for addressing my question. And then Priscilla also says, even, there in, even here in Saudi Arabia, the Filipino salary is high as compared to other countries. Wow. So the power of your government negotiating, I think that's a, that's a very good lesson we've learned from here. Uh, Wambua yeah. Fama, welcome. Uh, Caribbean man says, I'm an islander, guys. I'm going fishing. Thank you so much, Caribbean man. Uh, Caribbean man, do you have a second house? Big, big. Guys, watch a video. Watch a video or stay on the live stream. You can when you stay on the live stream for longer, it never leaves. It can it it sticks. You can watch the live stream from leader side and then it sticks. Um yeah. and then um let me say that there's any question. Yeah, I like this. I this is a this is a, this is the highest number of questions I've ever seen a guest been asked, by the way. <laughs> like <Yeah>. it's amazing. <laughs> It's amazing. Mm -hmm. People, they get, my guests are normally very conclusive. Nobody even bothers like asking them question after they are done. But today, you've yeah. really been engaged. It's nice. Mm -hmm. uh, Kavi is like asking, do people use cars in Kuwait? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, they, uh, they, they use cars. They use cars. I think I made a comment about this. Uh, there's, a, there's, a, there's a time uh, Saudi Arabia was not yeah. allowing ladies to drive though now they are driving so here yeah. it's open it's open even for me i'm from kenya but uh if i can get a driving license though the uh, the process of getting that driving license is very mm. very hectic unless the company helps you to get the the, the license but i know for right. for americans when they come here it's automatic when when you come here within like a month you have your driving license because uh the American driving license is like uh, mm. an international one. You understand? So mm. when they come here, it's easy for them to get a driving license. And uh, uh, vehicles here are very cheap. You can buy a vehicle uh, from someone, maybe secondhand, uh, even as low as uh, 200 KD, which is like, uh, which is like uh -huh. uh, maybe 100,000 Kenya shillings. Wow. Oof. Yes. So it's, that's, it's that's allowed. Like, it's that's allowed. Yeah, that's like very affordable. 
Yeah, um, it's allowed. And of course, it's an oil-rich country, right? So you can yes, imagine yes. the fuel and everything. So uh, Lady Posh is saying, are they really strict with the cohabitation in Kuwait? I didn't know. I didn't know. In Bahrain, there's that rule, but it is in the paper. 80% of foreigners in Bahrain are cohabiting. Mm. <laughs> that's a good one. That's a good yeah. one. So that's a good one. Um, interesting. I don't know if there are any questions, guys. I think I've... Uh, yeah. Yes, yes. As model, we are trying to solve. There's, there's somebody who went there with the with the rotten bananas. Uh, that's why they dropped. So that, and because Dida is, Dida is on the panel, it's not connecting to anybody. So we need to get yeah. those numbers back. Go watch a video or stay on the live. Stream. Actually, go to Dida's live streams and stay there. Connect while there. You can stay on the live stream and you know it sticks. Stay there. Stay there. Stay there. Don't come back to this live stream until it uh, until we, we finish. Let's get let's get let's get it back to one k. Let's get it back. Um, yeah. Yeah, let's get it back. Thank you so much, guys, for helping out. If Yanyi is in the bush, I know if Yanyi is traveling, is in the wilderness, is away from the city. Uh, but yeah, I saw I saw that uh, uh, communication. Uh, thank you, Yanyi. Chris, Chris, the dog. Well, uh, nice to see you again. I know you came on the live stream earlier. I don't see any questions that are coming up. Yeah, this this is good. Too much questions is not bad because it means that you guys are really genuinely interested to learn what uh, about where Dida is. And it's yeah. good because you're also engaging him and you're making him think about, you're giving him content ideas because questions are content ideas. He can actually go and make content about, about these things. Yeah, those questions, um, yeah. About those questions. Uh, the next thing I'm going to ask you is really, um, so so the channel is growing. Um, you've been showcasing Kuwait. Um, what is the plan? What plans do you have for the channel? Because now you are now you've started doing live streams. Congratulations on your first live stream, by the way. And uh, what what has been your experience like on live streams? Because live streams are not like videos. What are you slowly learning about live streams in your experience? Yeah, it's uh, the engagement because you see uh, when you when you start, you don't have a, like a community because a community. Is those people that you connect with every day you know yeah so it's like when you go to a new place you meet new people you see so once you keep on um, interacting with them you get used yeah. to them mm. yeah you get used to them so once you get used to them you feel comfortable so even if maybe you didn't have that confidence but the interaction with people in the chat they make you gain that confidence and you you, you keep getting better every day absolutely absolutely yeah. um i like that and you you keep getting better every day and um is there uh, somebody is asking a uh, wambua farmer is asking about oil mining uh wambua farmer is very curious about oil mining in kuwait uh, is that is that also like uh, something somebody can pursue yeah 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 if you have those qualifications if you have those qualifications yeah and and uh, in that field uh, it 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 pays good money. It pays good money. Mm. Yeah, because uh, the main economic activity here it's it's the oil. It's the oil because uh, I think like ninety uh, percent or ninety five percent of their uh, GDP is from oil because uh, Kuwait has the sixth uh, largest reservoir of oil in the world. So you can imagine that. So if you have those qualifications, yeah, true. Sure. Interesting. Interesting. Yeah. All right. Um, Lilian Okendo says one thing. Lilian Okendo says uh, she lived in Qatar. She worked in Qatar rather, and she says yeah. uh, one thing you must know: as much as Filipinos get higher salary, if converted to their countries, we are at the same average. I used to work in Qatar. I had a Filipino friend, and we talked about this. Um, okay. Yeah, cool. Amazing. I mean, Amazing MNG, welcome. Tight travel is still on the chat. Um, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. I think I see all these questions. Goga, check on my nightbot link when you when you'll be free. I've just discovered the link is not mine. All right, Wanga, I'll, I'll look into it. Um, and then let me just bring myself here. Uh, so uh, let me see, let me see, let me see, let me see, as the host takes a quick break. All uh, right. I don't see any question. This is nice. At least you guys have engaged the, you've engaged the co-host so nicely. I've never seen a guest being asked all these questions. It's amazing. It's amazing. Amazing MNG, how are you doing? 
amazing let me see how you're doing yes guys do it properly we can't have 1k drop in here we can't have 1k drop in and the way we've worked hard the first one hour we did i was already at 1k then i get that 15 bananas have already dropped yo no that is not allowed uh lady posh says since long ago kenyans were just transferring their driving license simply because kenya kenya is a british country till seven years ago a certain kenya started selling driving license oh my goodness kenya aki kenya aki kenya my my beautiful country yeah these are the things that get us into trouble uh did i do you need a break or something i know you let me know i'm, I'm uh, about to really i'm about to release you don't worry yeah there's someone who was talking for me okay cool um at least we do know th- at least we do know you're not cohabiting uh, <laughs> 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 that teacher that teacher wants to come and that teacher wants to come and like you know <laughs> all right signature signature says uh signature hey signature welcome signature uh 55 848 uh is saying hi to island sisters um yeah guys get the dida is not leaving until you get him back to 1k i and do it properly now do it properly i don't want to hear this number dropped thank you if helen had not brought it to me then i would have forever uh lady posh says this issue raised eyebrows in the government because they couldn't understand how cameroon and Ghanaian passport holders have kenyan driving license <laughs> nowadays they have mm-hmm. to ask for the ntsa letter for them to transfer the kenyan dri- driving license here yo yo kenya aki kenya kenya yo yeah thank you so much hey k you are here hiding all along in the bush welcome k welcome k welcome k welcome k nice to see welcome and by k has to leave because i know k has to go and do a premiere or something like that thank you so much k thank you so much k yes guys keep rounding off those numbers nicely uh thank you so much k for staying in the bush i really appreciate that and course uh, thank you so much thank you so much k. thank you so much um I love the you guys. I've never. I, I told you I love your questions. You've actually asked more questions than all the questions I had ready for for Dida. Like that's just amazing. Mm-hmm. That's just amazing. Yeah. Uh, Dida, what do you see? What do you see? Are your what are your future plans and aspirations? Not just for not just for your channel, but also in uh, in uh, for your life in Kuwait. Are you planning to stay there for long? Are you planning to like relocate back home? What What are you looking at in the long term? Uh, what is the like? What is the strategy? Do you still do you see yourself staying there for long, or you have plans to return home at some point? Uh, I don't plan to stay here for long. Yeah. That's one. Uh, because uh, I said it like uh, I took this opportunity to to make it like a stepping stone. Yeah. to do whatever i aspire to do in life maybe in terms of uh catering for my family in terms of business in uh, yeah. improving myself back home but still i'm mm-hmm. open to any opportunity that will come uh, across like uh even if i'm not intending to stay here for long uh, i want to go back home and do some other stuff but if yeah. any opportunity comes across like uh I know I'll do more stuff somewhere else. I can take it. Nice, nice. I like yeah. that because it's always, it's always like, uh, uh, it's always like, you know, at the end of the day, it's not, it's not home. You know, yeah, it's, it's not, not home, home because home, yeah. home is where your heart is. Home is where like the family and your two kids and your wife are waiting for you. Um, yeah. And in the long term, you also want to look at also that uh, sustainability in terms of the investments you are making and how you can be closer to home as the kids continue growing and and stuff. Exactly. Uh, so I like that's a very beautiful answer. It's a very smart answer. Um, it's a very smart answer. Um, let me see. Uh, Hadjiz is asking. I had a friend from Kuwait who told me buying land there is almost impossible as it is so expensive, and that's why they are investing in properties outside Kuwait. Is that is is it that expensive, Dida? That's actually a very I'll be actually very interested to know about that in terms of even the for you to uh, buy an apartment there. Is that even something that you consider? If something if I was to, to get to to buy land or apartment because I don't think if uh, Kuwait is. Uh, are selling land especially to foreigners but to buy an apartment uh, there's a there's an opening for that if you if you have the money there's a certain um, mm-hmm. amount of money that you're supposed to to have to be able to yeah. to buy an apartment i think it's the same with so many countries like uh, even in europe 
maybe you want uh, citizenship there's a certain amount of money that you need to invest with that country yeah. and then they can give you the citizenship or you can buy a property like there's there are other countries that if you buy a property like a, a, a an apartment uh you 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 can get citizenship so here i don't think if they are they are selling their land especially to foreigners but yes if you have the money to buy an apartment you can i like that i like yeah. that if if any if any that question was answered you missed the ladies already asked that question if any my ladies already asked that question about leaders uh family so it's already been it's already out of the bag if any you missed it uh, the <laughs> ladies the ladies already were answered because that's the first question they asked when they yeah, when that... i asked about the salary and everything so the ladies were like oh are you single are you looking for a wife <laughs> <laughs> And then they were given the rude awakening. Uh, actually, not the rude, yeah. but the most calm awakening. That yes, I am married. Um, I am married. Welcome, Sky. Sky is in the building, guys. Let me tell you about Sky. If you don't have Sky, I don't know what you are waiting for. This, if you make it on Sky's videos, you have made it on YouTube. You have made it on YouTube. Sky does a very, very good videos where he promo. Uh, you know, she promotes like uh, content creators based on some of the mistakes you make on your channels you know like when you sleep your your tank sleeps and you say something that becomes content for sky and uh mm. sky has a very good viewership especially from big youtubers big youtubers watch sky so if if you end up on sky's videos you are likely being watched by a famous youtuber like because the famous youtubers love sky and they watch sky so your your name is being put out there in a big house so make sure you yeah. don't miss out on that opportunity all right. um all right i am done with my questions unless Dida, you have any particular thing i don't see any other question that is burning on the chat um yeah so let me see let me see let me see, let me see. i think i'm i think i'm i think i'm, I'm pretty good sassy welcome sassy welcome sassy sassy can right. i have sassy global 2 on Dida safari can i have sassy global 2 on Dida safari to connect there um can i have sassy global 2 on Dida safari Yes, so this was, this was actually nice, guys. What do you, on a scale of one to ten, do you think Dida is a is a is a new live streamer, or this one he spoke like an experienced one? I think he did very well. I think he did extremely well, <laughs> right? Mm -hmm. Thank did, you for he that. Did ex, he did extremely well. I think is this is this the first time you found yourself on the other side of the of the panel, like because uh, I know you are used to being on your live streams alone, maybe with one or two uh, co-hosts, but is this the yes, first yes, time like you find you? this is the first time this is the first time nice nice that's yeah. good and i'm glad that you know i'm glad that we got you to sit here and you know you got to also meet my community and they they also got to like uh they also got to know you and you know it's it's amazing it's amazing it's amazing um natecho how far are we doing how far are we doing in terms of uh the numbers uh we get, we get Dida to that myself so if you have not connected to Dida safari make it make it happen make it happen make it happen Kavika is like, hey, my brother did excellent. Hey, Kavika has Kavi, I've never seen Kavi. I've never <laughs> seen Kavi active on a live stream from the beginning, like until now. She's still typing. She's still typing. Yeah. Uh, she's still typing. Uh, Lady Posh says, buying land comes, uh, buying land comes with citizenship, but Arab countries are very stingy with their citizenship. Even if you get married to a resident here, after you divorce, they cancel the yo. Yeah, yo. Exactly. Yo. Yo. Hey. Mm -hmm. Okay. 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 Exactly. Yeah, I know of a of a Filipino lady who was married to an Arab, and then mm. the the guy died, and they had two kids, and the mm. citizenship was cancelled. Wow. What yes. about the kids? What about the kids and stuff? I mean, he died. It's not like they separated. Yeah. The 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 the, the citizenship was cancelled. So. They are living here. They are staying here with a uh, with a uh, a renewal residence like me. Every year you have to to renew your residence. Oh my God! Yeah. Yo. What about the relatives to like the man or something? Like I'm just trying to figure. Does she get any support from from like the? I mean, because uh, you have kids, you lit you literally have the man's kids. Should in that count for something? I'm assuming the kids are citizens. I don't know. I don't know more about that. But what I know, they yeah. they, they had a, a a house like an apartment. The lady had to sell the apartment and invest back in the Philippines. Oh my goodness! Yo. Yes. 
Interesting, interesting, interesting stuff. Interesting stuff. Wambua Farmer is saying that, hey, Dida was great. He has exceeded my expectations. Um, I, I, and then everybody is just shocked about how harsh that is. Like, yo, yo. Mm -hmm. Oh, my goodness. That's interesting. That's interesting. And Jerry um, says, Jerry says, goodness, let me stay here within uh, <laughs> EU. If anybody will cancel my citizenship, I will die. Yeah, uh, and that is why I, I, I was saying, like, um, uh, I'm not intending to stay here for long. Uh, if all goes well, I'll be back home to do some other stuff. But if yeah. any opportunity comes along, maybe in Europe or the US, I will go because I've been here for four years. I know mm. if it was in Europe, I'll be remaining with uh, one year to get permanent residence. But here, there's nothing like permanent residence. There is no sense. citizenship. Here, you renew your visa. Even we have people who have stayed here for 20 years, 15 years, but they keep on renewing their visa every year. There is no permanent residency. There is nothing like citizenship here. So this is not home. Like in short, uh, get out of our country when you're done. You know, we, we yeah. don't need you here. <laughs> exactly, <laughs> it's, a, exactly. it's a good way of telling, it's a polite way of telling you, uh, no, yeah. don't, don't, don't like over, don't get that ambitious. You're not going to be one of us. <laughs> Yo, exactly. Wow. Interesting. Yeah. Uh, interesting. Interesting stuff. Um, let me just ask a very ignorant question. Um, and I'm saying ignorant because I, I, I you, you, you would have more experience when it comes to it. The, the locals there, you know, it's a rich country. Where do the locals work? Or are they the ones who own these businesses? Or I'm just trying to figure out. Would you actually work? Do you actually have? Do you actually work with that and a resident like? Do you do you get to work with a resident or most of the people you work for just? Uh, no, it's not, it's not easy to work with a resident because number one, I can mm. say they are lazy. They are lazy. That's that 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 that's for sure. They are lazy. So it's not easy to work with a resident. Uh, a resident, I mean. So like uh, the host company that I work mm. uh, that brought me from Kenya. Mm. Um, I think if we have a resident in the management. Is the person who signs the, the paperwork like uh, for the visa, both for the Africans and Americans. But yeah. it's very rare to get a resident working because for them, even if they don't work, every month they have a stipend from the government. They get it's money from the government. Yeah. It's a rich country. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Yo. Okay. Okay. Good to know. I'm just I'm just asking because uh, also trying to help your sister Natecho in case Natecho wanted to get married to an Emirati. You know, <laughs> I'm just trying to see the possibility. <laughs> that's all. That's all. That's all I was asking. Now, teacher, you see, I'm trying to root for you here. They now a Kuwaiti, not an Emirati, a Kuwaiti, uh, uh, Kuwaiti resident. Yeah, just in case, just in case, just in case, just in case. Yo, but that poor lady. Yo, that that story has. But anyway, at the end of the day, it's yeah. their rules, and they're the ones who know best. So, what do you do? All right. Uh, let me see. What are some? Okay. I like, I like, oh, darling, good question. That's a good question from, from darling. Thank you so much, guys. We, we only need seven more. Thank you. I'm, I'm observing seven more. Do it properly, guys. I'm not, that number, I don't want to see it drop again. That is embarrassing. That number can't drop again. So seven more. Um, and then uh, darling is asking you, what are some of the areas you would recommend to visit as a tourist? uh like here in kuwait yes um mm, kuwait is a very small country it's a very small country so obviously if you come here the first place to go is kuwait city because that is the capital city of kuwait remember kuwait is called kuwait city and the capital city is kuwait city i was going i was actually i was actually going to ask that <laughs> yeah so the first place to go is uh kuwait city so that you can know the capital of this state is the state of Kuwait, and uh, there's a, a cultural center uh, called uh, Al Sheikh Al Jaber Al Sabah, which is a very big cultural center where you can learn uh, the Arab culture. And then the other place is uh, there is one of the largest uh, of uh, largest mosques here in the Middle East. 
one of them is yeah. found here in Kuwait. I've forgotten the name, but you can also go there and uh, and uh, and see how huge the mosque is. I think, uh, and then another place is the Kuwait Towers because the symbol of Kuwait is the the Kuwait Towers. If you mm-hmm. if you go up there, Kuwait Towers, you can see the wall of the entire Kuwait. They have a uh, something like a, a micro uh, a microscope. I don't know if it's a microscope whereby you can zoom and see the whole of Kuwait. Oh wow! Yes. Interesting. So at least a few places in Kuwait City, uh, Darling will be seems will seem like a great place for you to stop by. Visa 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 requirements for like a Kenyan um, are they so stringent? Uh, which visa? Like, uh, like, for example, just if I, like, for example, I want to get a tourist visa, I want to come and visit. Will that be, will that be like very? Is it like, is it, a, is it hard to get a visa to Kuwait? <laughs> that's the, is, is yeah, it, that's yeah. the, 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 the easiest way I can. Ask. That's that's why or I, I said it before. It's it's not easy. It's not easy because they'll have to check uh-huh. so many things before they give you yeah. that visa. Yeah, because uh, it's very different from Qatar and Dubai, whereby you ah. can apply a visit visa, you know, within a day or two, and you have your visa. You got here, him. they are yeah. yeah, here they are very very strict, because it's a small country, you know, and uh, they are trying to safeguard, uh, you know, their space and the, the the stuff that they have, like the oil, and they know that mm. maybe coming from a different country, especially like Kenya or any country in africa maybe you need a job so it's not all about like um coming to tour uh kuwait so mm. you'll have to undergo a very thorough process before they give you that piece Inverting process. that's Makes why sense. that's why that's why uh, for you to come here they use the agencies back home you know they use the agencies back home and if you come here even if you're working for uh, a certain company there is normally mm-hmm. a host company that will receive you and take care of and everything concerning the visa process and residence so so in short they technically are trying to tell you uh they, they in short that they're, they're technically saying we need to like make sure that this person has been vetted and everything and we need somebody who will take responsibility in fact like, I, in yes, fact i'm yes, actually yes. seeing someone has to take responsibility and it's not going to be them so that's why it has yeah, to be exactly. i guess the companies and everything interesting exactly, stuff exactly exactly interesting, interesting. Yeah. yo the one case back thank you so much uh make sure it stays make sure it stays guys make sure it stays guys i will give dida a chance now to just give his final sentiments i've kept him on the live stream for so long he's been here for three hours and i know he has to work tomorrow today was his off day and he spared his time to be with me it's not something that i take for granted if you want to listen to more of this dida has started doing live streams and i think he's now doing them like thrice thrice a week i think you you can tell us about that he's yeah. doing live streams straight three times a week now he's on the journey to his watch up for his watch hours so i'm going to give him a final chance just to like uh say a few last words and then we will uh we'll release him and then uh we can uh you know we i can give you the receipts the hot receipts i had and then we can end the live stream all right okay so dida without further ado i'm going to put you on solo layout for this matter so just look at the camera and you know just tell people what you want them to hear and then also just do your call to action and the kind of support you need on your channel and then uh we'd be able to like uh release you from the panel all right so uh before uh that there's a comment from uh jerry but basically with my eu citizenship i will be more advantaged right in terms of salary tourism visa etc yes yes you are right jerry with your eu um uh citizenship you have uh, so many advantages here. So guys, thank you. Thank you so much for watching and listening to me for all these three hours. May God bless you so much. So for those who came uh, at the middle, my name is Habat Dida Safari and I'm Dida Safari on YouTube. And thank you so much for supporting me. And uh, my YouTube journey, the way I started it, I've uh, explained. I didn't intend to be a content creator, but uh, some of the issues, uh, you know, like sending uh, information so that my family can keep track of what is going on in my life here in Kuwait, uh, necessitated me to 
to upload uh, you know videos on the channel and that is how my channel grew and um, I've met uh, with this amazing community which has given me the morale to keep on with this journey on YouTube and uh, I've been so passionate about traveling uh, and I've seen like coming here in Kuwait it was one way uh, to keep up with my passion to travel so with this YouTube channel um, I'll be sharing my life here in Kuwait because I'm living here and working here in Kuwait but uh, in the future uh, be ready to see videos of uh, other places because I'm intending to be traveling to other countries so thank you so much for being here for me thank you so much for supporting me in this journey and i know you will keep on supporting me and uh, may god bless you so much for that so if you've not subscribed to my channel please do that subscribe to this channel support me let's grow together because we are here to support each other uh otherwise uh, goga and the family because i know we are multi streaming those on goga's side Thank you so much uh, for also supporting Goga. I know Goga has been a reason for me also to keep on, uh, to keep on uh, going forward with this journey. So keep supporting Goga and Goga may you continue uh, with your good heart of supporting other people because in this life we need people to cheer us up as we win. So I'm very much uh, happy to be part of this community and thank you so much for supporting me and I know you'll keep on supporting me. May God bless you so much and uh, we shall meet in my YouTube channel. Right now I've, uh, I've started uh, doing my live streams. I'm doing my live streams on Tuesdays, Thursdays and Saturdays. So three days um, in a week because of my uh, tight uh, work schedule but uh, we'll keep on interacting there. If you need to know more about this country or if there are any questions that are still pending, you can reach on my side and we'll keep on sharing. Thank you so much and may God bless you. All right. Well said, well said, well said, Dida. Thank you so much as well. And I really appreciate the time. Uh, he's been with me here for three hours. That's like a long time. That's a long time for somebody to actually hang out with you when he could have been doing yeah. other things, uh, you know, sleeping in for the weekend before he starts a very busy uh, week, uh, busy week. Um, thank you so much, Dida, for your time. Thank you so much yeah. for the openness and sharing with us about your not just your your life as a you know as a as a human being but also like your your life as a content creator thank you so much for like trusting us with that information you know you are speaking i always say when you are in these panels you never know who you are speaking to you are speaking to a very huge global community and you know it's like you are, you are putting yourself out there you are exposing yourself out there it is not easy it is not easy at all uh but yes. you know you took the mantle and you know you you honored the you honored the call and you able to come and you know uh do whatever was necessary to make sure that we get this done so thank you so much for really this collaboration i don't take it for granted uh congratulations on your milestone and i think you can only keep going far and we'll, we'll try as much as we can to keep pushing you towards that next level um keep yeah. keep doing the live streams we'll try as much as we can to support you and also just ensure they are a good way of also just finding your voice and finding out your next logical uh step i wish you the best and you know may you have a lovely evening um if you are on Dida's side, uh, I may want you guys to. I don't know, Dida. Dida, can you set up the raid from your side, or you have to? Do you, do you have like uh, a spare laptop, or you you only have your phone? Uh, I have a because, tablet uh, here, but I don't know how to set the raid. But uh, you, I think you could you my, could, att my you could to... attempt you could attempt to do your first raid before you leave the live stream. You are now at one thousand subscribers. <laughs> you can now you you can now be sending people on a flight. <laughs> yeah but uh will it, but it's, will it take long no if you can open the studio i can guide you through it if you can open your studio on your ipad i can guide you through it like uh, while you are seated there it does it will take even two minutes um everyone yeah guys that is, give, that is give, give yeah go on chrome let me give people people are sending you a lot of compliments yo yeah I'll give you a lot of compliments on the chat. I uh, will see that I can catch them. 
Uh, yes, let me see that guys can find the raid. Like it's amazing, amazing, it's amazing. I want to see if Nida can do a raid. That would be amazing. He can do his first flight. He becomes, he gets his pilot license because. Um, yeah, that would be fun. That would be fun. Uh, has Chrome opened or uh, what's what? What are you seeing? Andrea Jacobs, thank you. Nice to see Andrea Jacobs. How are you doing? Yeah, he has to get rest. So I want to release him. He's, it's, uh, it's, been, it's been long. It's been a long time. Yes. Yes. We did it again. <laughs> we forgot to take a picture. <laughs> again. Twice. 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 Did I don't worry. We can, we can yes. figure out the... Uh, what are you seeing on the screen? Uh, I don't know why it's telling me to verify my email. Oh, because of the yeah, you have to. It's uh, you are on a multiple. Device. Is that the first time you're logging in on uh, with your channel on that tablet or? No, I've been using it for oh, okay. some time. Because or, I think uh, studio 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 is always asking you to studio is always asking you to uh, to verify. Yeah. Studio is always asking you to verify. Everyone is like, "Go, Dida, you can do it. Go, guy, Dida, you can do it. Dida, you can do it. Dida, you can do it." <laughs> I think it's because I'm tired. Yeah, I, I, that's yeah. that's how to release you. I'll get I'll get people to do the I'll get people to take an Uber read. Um, yeah. and then so that you can go rest and then you can now learn you can now learn how to reach and then you do it on your own live stream it's going to be live yeah. tomorrow i think it does he said mondays is it tuesday on, uh, just tuesday, give me the date again. on tuesday Tuesdays, tuesday thursday and saturdays tuesday thursdays and saturdays so the first the first uh the first tuesday will I, I when i come to your live stream on tuesday uh i, I must be i can't take an uber i must be put on yeah, a yeah. flight so I will yeah, let right. I will make sure I will make sure that your first your first flight happens on Tuesday. On so Tuesday, guys, yeah. yeah. So guys, I'm going to end the live stream to uh, at Dida. So uh, you guys can Uber back here. Uh, let me give you the Uber link. Uh, Uber back. No, this is actually called. Let me call it Presidential Uber. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> to go. I'm doing that on Dida's channel. Dida, Dida, you can pin it. Um, so i think uh wait let me confirm that i've clicked the right link so you guys can take the presidential uber you come for receipts for two minutes uh and then we can leave david hunt has been hiding in the bush here knowing that is the subject of receipts uh he thought i would forget <laughs> yeah so you can take uh president and then when you when you land here you type uh dida read so that even dida can have his name uh yeah. so let's say dida uber read uh uber read uh okay there it is so just do that and then it will bring you up I've, I've been i've pinned it there i've dropped it there on dida's channel um so you can click on that link and then it will bring you here did i just say bye one more time and then you can uh i'll, I'll end your live stream instantly so i will right, do that guys. right bye bye and uh have a good night and a good day to those who are still at work may god bless you all right thank you so much dida have a lovely one so guys if you're on dida's side you can jump back on my side i'm going to end that live stream on my on on dida's channel right now.